All right, all right, all right. The Oklahoma City Thunder had a very interesting season. Shea Gilles Alexander played at basically MVP level. Jalen Williams impressed everybody as the runner up in the rookie of the year race. Everybody else improved pretty well. And that's all without Chet Holmgren even touching the floor after being the second overall pick in the draft. But in theme of my rebuilding teams that got eliminated, they got eliminated in the playing game, which isn't as crazy as losing a series. But nonetheless, Pacwa, they've also got two Jalen Williams. And I'm very, very excited to build this team because in case you don't know us, we're about to go to the draft lottery. And also, once again, start today doesn't work on this game. Game. Wow, the Clippers actually didn't make the playoffs in this one. And well, the Wizards didn't either in real life. So that worked. I've actually currently got a thousand likes dropped on 2K's head telling them to fix start today. I've had a very weird week on Twitter. I recorded this video of Pete Davidson at the at the Knicks game yesterday. And I got emails today from Fox News trying to use it. I don't know. Anyways, just simulate the lottery. Let's see if we get lucky. No. What's funny is through all this, the Thunder don't even have their own pick. The Rockets have it. But it gets crazier and crazier as the years go on. Literally, just in next year alone, we have the Jazz, Thunder, Rockets, Clippers, and Wizards pick. 2025 is holy eat clippers and sixers you know barring protections 2026 clippers rockets and thunder and 2027 just thunder and also if the picks do get protected they just move to the next year along with a roster that's already stacked for the future my goal for this video is honestly to beat bill russell's record I'm being honest with you. I mean, I don't know. At least be on pace to do so and then quit. But yes, I know. I recorded that video of Pete Davidson at the Knicks game. And it, you all know by now, the Knicks are up 3-1. I don't know if that, hopefully this video is out before before the next game. I was at that game and I shouted out last last video that I was sitting next to a Cav uh, no, a 10-year-old Knicks fan who was pretty cool. This game, I sat next to a dude that was a Cavaliers fan. He was like my age and he was real cool the whole game. Shout out to him. And they were both subscribers. That's why I say that. So, you know, if you hear this, there you go. Yeah, you know what? Th this, this team's got all the picks in the world, all the opportunity. Let's not leave out of this draft empty-handed. I'm trying to build an elite dynasty no matter what if when or way about it that doesn't make any sense to do so and i've been a fan of shea for a while by the way this is why i really want to build a nice team around him make him the next bill russell i named three of my fantasy teams over uh, after him in 2019 i also had a thunder series that i never finished but i was still in school and sad but who cares now i don't know what type of cap space they have the utah jazz they probably have a good amount though they just gave away two dudes with 40 million dollar contract and then traded mike conley as well but they did release westbrook so i don't know the 2k make that account onto their salary cap i don't know if they're smart enough to do that can i like give up every and anything to get the first overall pick i rock with lou dort but kind of don't i don't know how to explain it it confuses me but you did no you didn't block james harden james harden blocked you give you lou dort kenrich Will dang why is the first pick actually not highly valued hold on just try this oh 27th pick in there or a 2027 first in there and the second you know what's crazy is shea is 25 and he's the oldest like kind of important player on this team okay this is actually honestly a good amount i'm giving away three of our first round picks miami's first this year which was like a 20 something kenrich williams and lou dort in an attempt to get the first overall pick if that doesn't work on this 21st pick i don't know that doesn't work either the thing is i can't break up the jalen williams duo this early on that's like a sin i saw you know like the tiktok friend like does she say they wish there was two of me i saw them do that together and i'm like this is a classic there's also another dude in the draft this upcoming year named jalen williams I actually might have to find him and draft him okay i made it a clippers pick next year and they accepted it so three thunder picks lou dort kenrich williams and a clippers first next year and we now have the first overall pick in the draft they need to do that little thing on the screen where they say uh, uh the the trade has been announced because we did exactly that and <laughs> with that i am about to create the uh, hey the league don't even know what's happening four first and some dogs for victor mr Wimbanyama. welcome to the franchise yeah, they're saying a real, realistic simulation realistically dominating the hell out of this league i don't think there's anything else i want to do in terms of trades i feel like the thunder have a cool young team also anybody i'd probably trade is kind of like expired so like i probably would have traded poku or dario Saric or isaiah joe I like Trey, man. Whenever I've watched him play, it kind of reminds me of like how Shea or Jalen Brunson plays like real fundamental, deep bag, deep Birkin. Victor Wimbanyama. Some to use a pick. I'll take my pick number 12. Oh my God. They, oh, Jed Howard. Nah, I'm going I'm to take Mr. Aswa Thompson. Aswa. They got a hell of a lot of guards in this, uh, in this draft. I'll take Max Lewis. Dang, I don't see the, the other Jalen Williams. What the hell? Maybe he's not that good. And that's why he's not in the draft class. Cause he didn't get drafted either. I'll take Rajon Rupert with the next pick. I almost took him with the last one. We're starting to get way too many players. So I'm going to trade two of our seconds for two future uh i think i saw clippers in there right yeah they're, they're usually pretty bad i'll take one last player the sixth pick in the second round oh they got jacob Toppin, obi's brother hey they're not saying he's gonna do too well probably he's also 23 we'll go with kobe jones victor i don't know i don't know what crack i put this league on to i'm sorry i'm doing it to him we got a bunch of rookies you're about to be running the league for the next century dang aaron wiggins is 24 already he had to have been old coming out of college because i feel like i didn't hear it too long ago maybe not i don't know pretty sure isaiah joe was one of the best three-point shooters in the league this season actually I could just check his rating. Yeah, he's got an 87 three-point shot. That's like top tier, like very top tier. I'm assuming Lindy Waters is a real person, but he looks like he's not, a, like he just looks like an auto-generated player. And I know that he is technically, but this looks like it couldn't be a real person.
person. Free agency, I will not be re-signing Dario. Sorry, it's old self. We have 30 million, not bad. I just traded all of our picks for Victor, so we're gonna want to contend off year one, but it won't be probably too hard to do so. We do not have a small forward at all. Off rip, I'll make a Swa Thompson assume that role. Actually, I lied. No, no, no. Jalen Williams is gonna... I know he's like a good whatever power forward, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I'd rather you play small forward, dog. You're too short to play power forward. We're gonna have... Li we're literally gonna have Victor playing power forward. I was about to offer Kyle Kuzma contract, and I saw he's described as a finesse finisher. That is awful, dog. And they're not even lying. This man barely is a good shooter. He's just a driving layup merchant, according to this. He can't even dunk. Thunder average in that category. His post fadeaway and post hook isn't that great. He's not fast. He, he can't play deep. This is just, this is a hilarious player. He's under average for speed. You know, I'm all for two players I think would be very nice for this team. Jeremy Grant, not too costly of a guy. He could stick around for a while and be the veteran of the team, you know, not stealing minutes from too many people. They probably earn way more money than this in real life, but effective when given the opportunity. And secondly, yep, Russell Westbrook, baby. Give Russell Westbrook a one year. This is the thing. We have a lot of money. We don't need a lot of players, right? Give Russell Westbrook a one year contract for, yeah, fit $15 million. I know he doesn't deserve it, but I've been really enjoying watching him. And, and, and oh my, I, I, you know what's crazy? I'm doing this forgetting that I'm the Thunder. I'm just doing this and I'm going to do it. Yep. Russell Westbrook, come back to the team and we're probably going to make you a lifer. Jeremy Grant and Westbrook both accept. And I knew, yeah, we had the money to sign both of them. I don't even want nobody else. Just get those two on the team. And also, Jeremy Grant used to be on the Thunder as well. I actually remembered that when going to sign him, and I forgot Westbrook used to be on the Thunder. I'm probably going to have to trade somebody for like first round picks or something because I have way too many players. But I will sign some guys the two way contracts, which by the way, I do this in every video. And then the players get pissed off that I never play them, even though they're really good, and then leave me. They like don't even, their morale goes down. They never want to sign back. It's pretty funny, but I'm going to keep doing it though. Russell Westbrook's the only player on the team to actually regress this season. Literally the only one. Wow. I would expect that Jeremy Grant to maybe regress a little bit too. Westbrook, man. I'm excited, man. We, we You're going to be the sixth man of the year over here. But we do have a very stacked roster and Jeremy Grant could win it too. Max Lewis, I don't care that you strained your left MCL, buddy. Get back in the game. He listened. He just got back in the game. What the hell? Problem with your connection? Try that one more time. Thank you. <laughs> My God. What, what are you talking about? I got Ethernet cables attached to this thing. Mine and that's fine. I got 16 players currently. I got to trade a bastard. I'm not going to lie. I had my eyes on someone I was going to trade. I'm not going to lie. The player I had eyes on trading was Poku, but he played played fantastic last season look, look at that estimated wins three i'm trading colby jones our uh, second round pick in three seconds to the nets for two first one from phoenix and one from philly in 2027 playing the long game out here and then that frees up the spot shea is playing 38 minutes how many what what rotation is this jesus I, i'm confident this team go with 11 man rotation we don't gotta be you know what i'm saying running our players into the ground here I, I really like this team man i'm telling you i know i did the nets one first because i saw them get eliminated in the first round i know that's a little bit more important than the, the play-in but like i've been excited to do the thunder one ever since they uh, got eliminated because i already know this about to be wicked as long as shay doesn't fall off a cliff you could have one hand buddy we're about to win ring also i said in my last video at one point i just i was just scrolling through the comments oh my god i thought i was about to say victor was out for the season sore left ankle you'll be you'll be just fine he already healed before the next game i saw i i commented in my last video oh i wish you could turn off untouchables and someone dude was like oh you could turn them off i looked up a youtube video and it just literally is go over to this thing and then click just remove on every single player but i'll do it if i ever want to trade for a big time player but that's kind of lame i don't want to do that every season because I would assume you have to do it every single season. We are currently 24 and 5, by the way, which is already, oh wow, that's actually third best in the conference still after the Nuggets and the Lakers. But when you go to individual training, you could ch set a player to load management. Wait, wait, just, just test this on like a worse player. Just in, like, you know what? I don't I don't want to know. They have all of this stuff and like, it's just all so tedious that I do not care. I mean, I don't even know there's much stuff you could actually change. They got this whole training schedule. Like, dog, this is real poetic. I'm about to let Westbrook be the mentor for Shea. Oh man, Victor's out six day a week. That's tough. And Chet just got injured too. It's double Jalen Williams time. It is the all-star break. I'm going to assume that Shea is going to make it here, right? Yep, I see him on the bench. I don't know if anybody else is, but it doesn't matter. Because we are 43 and 10. The best team, I would assume, in the NBA right now. Yep, the best team in the NBA. In the first season, by the way. Some fantastic efficiency from most of our players. Isaiah Joe's the only one not shooting well. But he's shooting 41% from three. And that's most of the shots he takes, I would assume, right? Yeah, almost, literally all of them. He just can't shoot from inside the arc and isaiah joe's the only player that's a negative in the estimated wins thing that's actually normally in the rotation everybody else is a far and away positive well, not very far and away for Jalen williams i guess there's an eye to keep out on him but all in all i don't think he'll ever need be someone we need to trade he'll probably just be you know on the bench eventually if he doesn't progress much more speaking of uh keeping players around contract extensions we can't extend nobody never mind westbrook you will 1000 percent be re-signed and everybody's happy as hell too look at this man it's beautiful okc nation we uh speaking of nation shout out to the jets they traded for aaron Rodgers. i don't know why i thought of that oh westbrook got injured i think i thought of it
it because I thought of the Broncos Nation or Broncos whatever thing. Let's ride that they be saying. And then I thought of football. So yeah, but yeah, shout out to the Knicks, man. Game Game Four was an ethereal experience, probably even a little bit better than Game Three. We had the whole street shut down in front of the Garden. I kind of hate saying we though, because I don't really contribute to that. I'm not a very energetic person. I mean, I was going crazy in the Garden, but I can't. You can't find me probably jumping around the street. Jason Tatum won MVP. Brandon Miller Rookie of the Year. So Victor does not win it. His numbers were slightly, you know, messed up by the fact that he was on the best team in the league. 19 and 8 per game is still insane as a rookie with two blocks a game, and he only missed 11 games. Not bad. Eamon Thompson actually wins Sixth Man of the Year. That's what's up, man. I'm really proud of you. Your brother probably is 64 and 18. Shout out to Jimmy Butler, dog. That game just happened. The 56. That that is the what is that? I don't know. Highest something highest scoring game. And obviously, I'm not saying nothing because you know even Jalen Brunson said the job's not finished. But both the Knicks and the Heat are up three to one right now. If they close up that series, that'll be the second round matchup. I have a lot of friends that are Heat fans. It is about to be terrifying if that happens and i would have never expected it in a million years first round who are we playing the phoenix suns or the uh, the eight seed probably still i would assume with kevin durant no chris paul though he retired did not know that they got pat bev replacing chris paul that is very poetic uh deandre aiden also said in refer in reference to his game the other day he said it was it was dominated but like dominated like his name and um yeah that definitely ruined my day the suns win the first game by 10 points i guess i can't be fully sad if we lose this series but i also don't want to lose the series so that, that's good that we just won the next four games oh josh giddy got injured day to day can you like not sub out cool he's not subbing out yep fight through it buddy speaking of that i don't think it'd be the worst time in the world to cut the rotation down but let me let me see how the players are playing with all due respect to Jalen williams the one that's a small forward and starts he's been playing kind of suspect in the playoffs so far and you know you know what i've realized too is that sometimes when i do these simulations and i get to like the playoffs i'm like oh man i've sat on like the, the same thing the holes like we've been running on this lineup and it's been great so now it's the playoffs so why would i change it right then i thought about it and well in the knicks and Cavs series recently isaac Accor was starting for them the entire year whenever he was playing right and it was like this huge thing before the series like Cavs fans talking about oh he's gonna be guarding Jalen brunson he has to start ah and he's been so garbage on offense that they actually had to bench him and play him next to ricky rubio and then i thought about it and i don't know if he's in the game so i don't know if i could find him but the knicks did the same thing with alfred payton a few years ago started him the entire year and once the playoffs came they didn't play him after game two when we played the hawks that year so yeah basketball playing the pelicans is always a very scary thing and well we smoked them in game one at the very least by almost well 33 points because look at their depth right three 30, 20 point scores nobody else and we had three 20 point scores plus uh two players and in, in, uh, upper double figures and then russell westbrook for four points and five assists not as not enough rebounds though i disapprove that message we win game two win game three and as long as we don't blow a 3-0 lead we are in the conference finals against the los angeles lakers they got sid sissy starting at at uh shooting guard which means that unless he's injured austin reeves did the dash he is no longer present they signed Jaden mcdaniels instead i mean it's worked out well for them whatever they, they also signed rudy gobert or trade no they traded for him La what the hell did you trade did they trade d'angelo russell for rudy gobert i swear to god if i see d'angelo um no i mean they could have done it and he could have left matter of fact i'm gonna find d'angelo russell just confirm just to confirm my suspicions yep they did that they did exactly that. Now they've got a bunch of centers so that 80 doesn't have to play power forward anymore. The only issue is that 80 is still a center, so they're both coming off the bench together, which might actually be helping them because those guys don't shoot a lot, and that means LeBron probably shoots more in the 2K sim. Well, it's definitely helping them in game one against us. I want to jump in, but I have to see it get cut to two points, and it's not going to. LeBron had 40, and I have Jeremy Grant on him, who isn't. He's a pretty decent defender, I feel like. Oh, we lost the second game as well. I just clicked simulate, and we lost. What about the third game? Oh, Poku got injured. We lost again. Wow, this is very interesting so far just getting smoked by the lakers i guess the star power is what's getting us since they're enacting the rules of star power i'm gonna try cutting down our benches minutes a lot and giving them to our starters like yeah push victor up push chet up push shea up to sub plus 40 dash giddy to 40 and some of you bench bashers got out of play you will play but you know it's not ideal that's the 3-0 desperation and oh my god we, i gave the starters all those minutes and they started off the first quarter 6 to 22 but then they came back and what's happening a loss is what's happening we're about to lose to the lakers hey they got all the veteran experience and everything i'm about to look at the stats for the series just to make sure though who see who fraud it out and whatever but I'm, I'm not sweating over it so shea was incredible they the lakers defense was crazy though all of our like star players did not shoot that well only player who did 
good was Westbrook and Poku. But I'm, I'm going to just chalk it up as a bad series. I can't give up on this team just yet. Jimmy Butler and LeBron meet up in the finals. Playoff guy Jimmy Butler cooking right now, I would assume. Or, well, Tyler Hero is too. And, well, he's not playing in real life. The Lakers win the championship. LeBron gets his fifth. Unless he hypothetically won in 2023, which we don't know yet. In the simulation, I believe it said the 76ers won. Mike Conley of the Lakers retired. At least he got a ring. He got a right arm hairline fracture for the season. No, not Westbrook. Hey, you know what, man? Oh, man. No, no. You know what? Everyone in the comments is going to agree with me. I can't let him go out without a ring. You don't even got to play. You don't even have to play anymore. You don't even have to travel. Just stay in OKC. Stay wherever. I don't stay in LA. I don't I know you left the Lakers and signed with the Clippers. You probably want to stay. You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to move too far, but come on, dog. Don't even be here. I just got to see the ring on your resume. I'm giving you your respect. You know, I've given you a lot of rightful disrespect for certain actions over the years. And Melo, I, I would say I would sign you too, but you didn't have the greatest Thunder, you know, uh, thing. And we also have way too many people on the roster. Speaking of the roster, it might be hard to even keep Westbrook. Uh, any weird any, opposing teams on the bonus after 16 fouls have been committed in a single quarter. Does that like bring it up or down? I feel like it's currently five probably. So is six even higher? I don't know, but they approved it. What type of picks we got? I already saw the Thunder once. And again, the Wizards and Utah. I'm going to just click it. What's going to happen? The Thunder get the third pick and the 13th pick. Wait, did that 12th pick move down or was it 12th? I don't know. No, never mind. Never mind. I was like, what the hell did they move up? Yeah, no. The third pick in the 2024 NBA draft. This is the draft of, I think, like Bronny James. Yeah, Bronny James expected to go number two. We don't need another point. I might just take the best player available when it comes to that third overall pick. Also, it showed me the exact overalls, which is pretty cool. I kind of want to draft this dude, Zachary, but like I keep seeing him get drafted very high in all the draft classes recently. But then he, I don't, I never see him again. So that's the only issue is like, I bet Bronny, oh, Bronny doesn't have Hall of Fame or nothing. He just has all NBA. Okay, not bad. You know what's actually a very interesting thing that could happen that I could do? We don't have to pay a lot of people a lot of money still. I think I'm about to try and free up some cash space. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm probably going to get rid of Jeremy Grant. I could also just wait until free agency to do that, though. See, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And then trade him like how they traded Harrison Barnes. Well, he was a free agent in 2016. I'm talking about the Warriors with KD, by the way. But, you know, you could imagine a player would probably be pretty intrigued and want to sign here after seeing how well we just did. What the hell? Devin Booker we could trade for? Jesus Christ. There might not be a better free agent than that. Whoa, I, I might have to consider this. Hold on. Here's a look at the free agents, right? Pretty sure in a recent video of mine, I, I signed some of the two top of the guys here, right? LaMelo Ball's restricted. You probably go back to uh, Charlotte. It is fun to be able to know that you have money going to free agency, but like if I, let's say, realistically can sign either AD, who I already signed recently, so I don't really want to do that again, or Sabonis, who he's not better than Booker, also doesn't fit with this team because we already have two premier big men. Literally, what we need right now is to be able to move Josh Giddy to small forward and have another premier score next to Shea, or well, Devin Booker himself to small forward, I guess. What's funny is whenever I try to offer, they say, oh, we think we're a championship contender, buddy, you obviously weren't. We just smoked you as the eighth seed. It's over for your team. KD's gonna leave soon. It's, it's cooked. I would I would believe, yeah, we unlocked another first round pick, right? Offer them that. Okay, that doesn't work. The thing is, the original trade was uh these two picks, and instead of these players in this pick, it was Oswa Thompson, but I like him too much. I don't want to trade him. You know what? Hey, because I didn't want to trade Oswa Thompson, or however you say his name, but it sounds cool when I say it like that. Screw Devin Booker. We're gonna keep our cap space, and I'm gonna bring on his brother, Eamon Thompson. I feel like I've done this a million times. I'm about to do it again. It's my new Ice Spice move. Get the Thompson twins. I really do not want Jonathan Isaac. Why won't they let me trade Jonathan Isaac? It is what it is, though. We'll figure it out. I'm going to trade this dude, Max Lewis, to the Bulls for the. Uh, who, what pick was he? 21st last year? Hey, man. You're never really going to have much uh, use for us, so I'm going to trade you for the Bulls. And then um, we still got pick three and pick 13. First pick, the Spurs get Isaiah Collier. Second pick, Cody Williams. And the Thunder are the third pick. They gave him right to me. Oh, Ian Jackson. Was Ian Jackson might be better than Bronny. I know this sounds crazy. I don't think I've. I've definitely picked Bronny, and I don't think I've ever picked Ian Jackson. And I don't know if I have, but in the last video I did, I saw he got to like a 93. We'll see if I regret it, but I am taking Ian Jackson over LeBron James Jr. Will LeBron go next? Nope. Will he go the next pick? There he goes to Houston. And with this one, I'm going to take Justin Edwards. I remember he used to be a dog in some of the simulations. I don't know if he still is, but we'll see. This is a second round pick. Honestly, we don't got room for these. I don't want it. I'm going to trade it for uh, investing in a bunch of Bulls picks. Give me the Bulls picks. Praying on that downfall. Ian Jackson, highest rated player. I, I, I put a lot of stack in you, buddy. You got to be better than Bronny. They're trying to let Trey Mann go he is about to make five million he's 23 i'm cool with that he hasn't improved much thus far it's it's a hard team to keep a job on you're gonna get a job somewhere else just not here and poku seven million dollar whatever it's called yeah you you could have that those other two dudes they're gone forever free agency so oh wow they smoked that catch base okay i think a lot of the rookies did it it's not the end of the world either way but i'll probably try and sign one of the better free agents i don't think there's any way i could possibly make the catch base there's uh there's too many yeah yeah i mean yeah i, I under underestimated how much the third pick would take up and everything but i didn't want to make that devin booker trade anyways oh chris chris paul what where did you come from also 
Russell Westbrook. Don't worry, I'm not forgetting about you. Chris Paul and Shea got history too. I mean, not history in a bad way, but in a good way. Desmond Bain would be, can I free up 3 million? He would be perfect too. He is restricted though. Oh, they, said, they said I didn't have enough money for DeJounte Murray. I do. Lloyd Markinen as well, but I feel like he usually underperforms in this game. Yeah, look, 12 points per game, but no, I, I, could, I could kick up. Hey, look, I'm paying that money. He will be getting a better shot tendency. I will not be disrespecting like this game does, but I, I don't know if he fully fits this team. Yakum would be perfect, but he, he wants too much money. Lonzo, Lonzo's pretty, Lonzo would be a pretty good one, honestly, but he, he also wants too much money. To scrounge up just enough money to offer him, I'm going to trade Usman Jang. I don't see him ever having a role probably on this team, but I've stacked it's getting. I'm going to trade him to the Rockets for this first round, two first round picks. That works for me. We're just taking over. I'm, I, hey, Sam Presti, I know I took your job right now, but I still got you in my mind. You know what I'm saying? I got to live out whatever you were creating over here, this insanity. And I'm also, I, because I can't trade Jonathan Isaac, which is annoying. They usually, they often let you trade players like that, like in that situation. Should I trade for even more Rockets pick? Yeah, I'm not going to trade him yet. Let me see if I can offer Desmond Bain, because that, that's the one I want to offer. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't need to do anything else. The thing is that look at Desmond Bain's stats, right? 22 points per game, great three point shooter, great score, versatile. He literally fits the exact role that I wanted Devin Booker to be in. So, like, he's just, I'm just betting on him to be as good as Devin Booker would, which might be a little far fetched. But, like, off ball shooter, you know what I'm saying? The Grizzlies also have not offered him yet. They might be focused on offering other people. I'll offer him and then just to play safe, even though he doesn't fit perfectly, I feel like this has kind of hurt his fit. And I know I'm going like in depth, but hey, this is what you want. I've been, I'm thinking right now, I'm using the, the thought process. DeJounte, he's got a decent three point shot, but I feel like what's kind of hurt him in Atlanta, like this year, or just the team in general, is that, you know, he was supposed to be a huge, like, trade target and whatever, but his sp floor spacing isn't actually that crazy. So it doesn't fit next to Trey Young being ball dominant for the most part. But um, he's the next best player, in my opinion, for this team. Him remarking it and Laurie has like 18 less badges and give me, gives me a bad vibe. So I'll offer him as well, just in case, which he would probably for sure accept this contract right here. Okay, Desmond Bain accepts. Let, let me see, because look, DeJounte accepted, so he'll still be there tomorrow. And also, Westbrook, that's a lot of rights to renounce. Hopefully I can still, re I don't know if I'll be able to resign him. That kind of sucks. That really sucks. I'll probably find a way to trade for him, honestly. I won't forget about you. Don't worry. And they did not match the offer. He will not be here yet, but Desmond Bain has accepted and that my, my dream is complete of waiting out till the free agency. It has worked out in, in my favor. Isaiah Joe, you also live to see another day until I probably trade you in the middle of the season for Westbrook, probably. Oh, do do I still? I don't know if I have, still have enough money for you. Probably not. I think it's because the whatever. I don't know. You almost retired, buddy. Just wait wait around for me. Oh, yeah. And I just realized that Eamon Thompson is going to take his spot anyways. DeJounte Murray's over there getting low ball by the Cavaliers. Sorry, buddy. I know we, we got your hopes up. It was an offer sheet. Nothing, nothing. And you know what I'm saying? It, it was a thought, a concept. Make sure we get Mr. Bain. And there it is. He's officially on the team. This might may, maybe bring us to the next level. I don't know. Oh, it says I can afford Westbrook. Give this man the money. You have to give him the whole mid-level exception. You will be here. One year with a team option that will 1 million percent be declined. Russell Westbrook, welcome back to the team yet again. The last player I'm signing for, yes, the last player on the roster, which actually, I think I forgot to re-sign Poku. Who cares? Draymond Green, welcome welcome to the Thunder. Poku's gone anywhere. I, I gone, gone anyway. I don't know where he went. Look at that. I told you, I just signed these guys to two-way contracts and let them get pissed off. Sean Stewart, you're the next victim. What a beautiful team. Giddy, I moved to small forward. You know, the next great point forward. He's now in 91. Victor in 87. Sometimes I honestly forget the year and even, even here. Chet, too. Chet up what went up by five overall. This is a, this is a ring team. This is a ring team. Eamon Thompson, 83. I forgot you even were going to progress. Jonathan Isaac, he will be in, uh, gone at the next bus stop. And Draymond Green's literally just here just in case we get really, really desperate at power forward or center. I also thought it'd be funny to think of him as the veteran presence for this team. Him and Victor in practice together, which is just funny. Dang, a Swat Thompson did not improve at, at all. Mark Dangal, I hope you're around for a long time. Might have to fire you this season, though, if you don't do well. I know I've said it before, but these are always what I set my things to. Just me personally. I've been doing it for like 10 years. My, my points of emphasis. Dang, Chet Holmgren, two to four week injury. There it is. But so far, oh, I, how did, uh, dang, I swore subbed in and got uh, injured immediately. But so far, we are 15, 17, and one. It just keeps getting better. Oh, his brother got injured now. And speaking of that, it's been a good amount of games, 23 games. That has to be a couple of months, right? Estimated wins. Now go to negative. Uh, oh, wow. Jonathan Isaac actually isn't there. He's 0. 0.5. I'm very surprised to see that. With that being said, dang, do I, am, are we revolutionizing Jonathan Isaac? Yep, not going to take the chance. Oh, Dylan Brooks is actually getting efficient. Very interesting. Jonathan Isaac for Phoenix to Phoenix for two second round picks. Don't care. See you, buddy. Oh, wow. Our rookie our rookie that I actually value, Justin Edwards, is getting very pissed off that we are not playing him. So you know what I'm going to do? Send buddy to the G League. Learn your manners. Clown. Get the Johnny Davis treatment. Pack your bags. You know what's really funny? I don't know if this, this, this team's going to move anytime soon, but there's certain G League teams that are whole states away, and it's like very, very drastic. For example, I'm pretty sure that Miami's G League team is in Denver or it's in Colorado. They're called the Sioux Falls 
Falls Sky Force, and they are in uh, no, no, my bad, uh, South Dakota, which is the entire opposite of the country. Imagine you get called up to the heat and you go all the way <laughs> from or, or sent down one or the other on like a week to week basis. You have to ha have a whole different wardrobe. You're undrafted rookie hanging out. You're on the Miami Heat bench warm and you're having a great time. And then all of a sudden you got to tell your friends, oh, sorry, guys, I'll be back in eight months. I got to go to Sioux, Sioux Falls. Do any of you live in those like abandoned states that like nobody thinks of whenever they think of anything? Oh, wow. Victor Wembanyama, two time also. Well, it's actually one time. I also don't know how they got that wrong in the system. He's a one time all star. So is jo Josh Giddy and Shay. And uh, shout out to Tyler Hero, I guess. And I see the stats. It's because they put up such versatile stats. That's the real thing. Oh, wow. Victor is leading the team in points already. Shay is a 98 overall, at least maybe with the morale and everything. And he's as 25 and nine a game. And Desmond Bain playing the role exactly how I wanted it. I think he is up. He's shooting 46% from three, which um, is not the best, but probably. Yeah, he's shooting almost 10 times per game and by far the best on that many attempts. Josh Giddy also very efficient from that range, though, and he's averaging 14, 7, and 8, which is all-star all numbers. Jalen Williams, I feel like playing much better than last season. Also off the bench full-time now. And Chet Holmgren cooking. Hey, man, Thompson off the bench. Uh, Russell Westbrook still plays off the bench. Barely any minutes, but he gets his stats in when he does, though. Really interesting team thus far. Even Draymond's played four games. Complete garbage time, probably, if I had to guess. Oh, wow, Justin Edwards got called back up, and he's not a crybaby anymore. I just realized I'm over here offering, like, Russell Westbrook, like, two years deals and stuff like he's not gonna just retire again this season and we better win the ring for him let me check actually yep he said he's calling a, i don't know why Russell westbrook is such so adamant on calling the career in year, like 34 to 36 years old in 2k nowadays like you're still 80 overall and i still play you buddy i'm going to pay you for the next 10 years but instead nope he wants to just leave you could be our udonis he probably doesn't want to do that we are currently well on pace never mind we just lost two games randomly i was gonna say to break the record and desmond bain just got injured for six to eight weeks right but right as the season's about to end but he might make it back in time I'm not the, the injuries they'd be they'd be healing fast sometimes oh my god Jalen Williams who probably got some more minutes in, in his absence also gets injured and for a little bit longer so we'll probably be without oh my god Eamon Thompson injured save it till the end of the season my god Luka Doncic wins most and most valuable Aaron Bradshaw rookie of the year I don't even know who this is he's a center for the Knicks they did lose Mitchell Robinson to the uh to the Lakers so yeah I guess whatever um Lonzo Ball six man of the year Giannis DPOY Jay Sean Tate I do wish Giannis was a little bit more dominant in 2k like how he in real life another down three ones of the heat right now but he was injured jay sean tate most improved but he already had your um, you know couple of years of a uh, fame or whatever of niche micro celebrity fame all the injuries just aren't, aren't just us john moran who we stole desmond bain from i mean i guess his team's also stupid they didn't you know match the offer which i kind of like nowadays they don't always do that even though it's kind of stupid but it makes me be able to sign more va various amounts of players we did not have one player make the all nba team despite having three players make the all-star team victor made the all defensive second team that is true he probably would have made it i forgot he's not a center I think he would have made it over one of them. And none of our rookies made any all rookie teams, which is pretty pretty uh what's it called uh, surprising actually rc 71 wins i don't need to say much more than that but i will say that uh oh amen thompson is is back though he's, he's doing well justin edwards is actually getting minutes holy hell and he's playing awful in them yep we're gonna cut that down to a 10-man rotation i don't need anybody else getting injured just yet or in the early rounds but um let's not be stupid here first round against new orleans who i'm very surprised oh amen thompson's back good is the eighth seed desmond bain is back there you go a nice nice savior whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah i don't oh my god they have zion at center why do they have zion at center their best center is larry nance jr i guess they see better opportunity in not playing him oh yeah i guess they do have trey murphy and they want to play him as well but not the best idea against two seven foot front court forward Hella, almost our whole starting lineup is taller than uh, him and ad left the lakers or maybe is injured or something i think i saw him on chicago actually if i'm not mistaken yep there he is ad went back home along with siakam and levine's still there but he broke his right ankle for the season and they did pretty mid and lost in the first round we win the first game i mean ad's gone no way we lose to just lebron right just Le okay what happened in game three dog oh mitchell robinson was cooking us the dog hey victor shot four for 23 and one for 13 from three my god that is a once in a lifetime i'm not even scared anymore just because there's no way in hell that oh my god how did we lose another game lost by five points and we are in game seven against the lakers desmond bain shot 0 for six yet again another generational sellout that you would never expect and jalen williams 0 for five is pretty 0 for four is pretty bad we could live with that if desmond just does his job game seven no way the lakers smoke us back to back years even without anthony davis right 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 
right hello thank you thank you a, a fire oh my god they almost came back but a fire whatever quarter that was fourth quarter obviously i'm not stupid i'm stupid kyrie irving and luka Doncic await us in the conference finals and royce o'neal is guarding victor dog please send these guys to the shadow realm 3-0 and 4-0 we are in the nba finals and russell westbrook dog this is for you the thing is about westbrook is that sometimes his game agonizes my eyelids and uh, my my corneas right but often though I, or not often i just in general i really appreciate how much he likes basketball even if he sucks at it sometimes they are running the exact same starting lineup they usually run in real life whereas our team has changed drastically at least victor starting i mean we still have the guys that would be starting i guess but i don't know if we'd be in the finals then so there's also that the Cavs are one of the most overpowered teams in 2k there's only a few players for us playing bad and one of them is isaiah joe according to the stats in this year in this uh, whole ordeal i'm gonna cut mr joe out of the rotation for now we do not have a backup center playing so even if Jalen williams has struggled a little bit throw five minutes or so to him and then bump chet and uh, victor up to 30 36 each josh giddy up to 36 and i don't really throw the last one over there when the other Jalen williams gets back that'll solve some problems but yeah for now we ball and easy first quarter run right now we're probably gonna lose control of it because that's usually what happens in basketball and 2k and they have came back with a vengeance we cannot do anything right now i don't know what's going on in this fourth quarter oh desmond bain fouled out but that's the only foul out i feel like we should be able to hold on aside from that i don't know what's going on we lost we lost game one the thompson twins combined for a fantastic over five shooting although i'm assuming this is a Man had 11 assists. Chet Holmgren shot an astounding five for 17 in 42 minutes. By the way, him and Victor both played both played 42 minutes. I guess I didn't give what's his name Jalen Williams enough minutes. But I mean that shouldn't be a bad thing that they played too many minutes. After the season, I have to look for a better backup center because I'm not really trusting Jalen right now. We're getting cooked yet again most of the way through here in game in game two and just barely trying to hold on. But it is not working at all, not even in the slightest. And we're gonna lose yet again just barely. Darius Garland had 44 points. You can't really avoid that but any glaring yeah victor five for 19 again he is selling out so far josh giddy only shot four times and did not hit a shot russell westbrook was over seven i'm gonna resort back to giving our whole team a bunch of minutes because that's what's got us here and i know it's kind of weird but screw it you know we don't got much loot to lose right now we do have a lot to lose technically but whatever and it's given us a lot of hey, i don't know energy something because it's kind of working but not really Cavs are a very good basketball team and right now it's working well to stay afloat we literally need this game and they take to leave at 142 to go watching the playoffs and everything and being at the knicks games and all that stuff has getting got me like like i could like imagine being in that scenario now like you know what i'm saying needing a game to win the series because being at that game the other day two days ago now whatever and feeling like oh yeah we win this game we might actually have the clear advantage to win the series was like terrifying and also liberating victor shoots a fadeaway shot off rip and he greens it donovan mitchell back up the other way donovan guarded by westbrook he'll take the pull-up shot right over chet and he gets bodied to the floor kind of chet he's got Westbrook open in the corner. He's not going to make the pass. He gives it a Shea off instead. Probably, probably a good decision. Shea down the Victor again. He is towering over Evan Mobley. He's going to fade away again, and he misses. That time around, just barely. Schroeder passes it to Mitchell. Mitchell to the basket, and he is guarded by Victor. Is he still going to go up? He doesn't. He gets fouled. Drawing the foul with the whole over a foot height advantage. Disadvantage is crazy. Donovan hits a not green free throw, but nearly, I'm pretty sure. It's at like 97%, and the second one is green. Our series will be over right here, right now, if we don't win this desmond bain has subbed in bain i never updated his tendencies but i don't think i needed to he was averaging 23 points per game we give it to victor again in the post victor they're not doubling or anything but they got evan mobley the dpoi near dpoi on him and he makes the shot victor nearly falling to the ground 110 109 lead for our thunder the pass in and nearly stolen by shea and by the way the fact that schroeder stolen tells me that garland had what fell out because i was thinking maybe you know he was tired or whatever but now yeah the pass is gonna go into jared allen down low allen back to a coral and he hits a tough layup I, I will give it to him at that game four i seen him hit like one or two pretty tough layups but he just can't shoot from the perimeter and shea gill just back down to victor Wimbanyama. victor the side the post up he pump fakes he's gonna pass it back out to shea shea over to bane for three desmond we gave you all that money for you to do that oh the rebound by chet and chet gets blocked by mobley oh evan mobley saves the season for the cleveland cavaliers this is awful though i'm 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 in enthused to see the play but uh why are you getting mvp chance what the hell we take a timeout desmond bain missed but then evan mobley blocking old dude is crazy pass is gonna go into hell somebody please shay shay goes left to the basket shay all the way he ha he had a maybe an n1 but he passed it off to a very easy dunk i feel like he would have got fouled i mean he almost guaranteed that's usually a pretty guaranteed foul animation dennis schroeder probably a good person to foul in the scenario and dennis schroeder missed one also like he just dennis schroeder like he just be shooting his shot it always looks like it's gonna miss so you gotta just hate 
deep and uh he makes both free throws those free throw looks fine we have no timeouts and 13 seconds left it's got to be something here i don't know what but up to victor victor shoots immediately and it is green no contest on the victor that man is 10 feet above everybody and it does not matter nine seconds left and can donovan mitchell probably hit a game winner here guarded by desmond bain the pass into donovan donovan guarded by bain donovan goes left to end the series he spins he goes back left he pulls up and it is green oh my god i hate it i hate it i hate victor please nope it's over it is over cleveland goes up 3-0 we might be breeding a new dynasty or a new a new rivalry here i mean we already have a very intense finals games but uh i think extending the rotation was the right move we had i mean ian jackson shot horrible when he finally got a opportunity in the playoffs but it, it helped us from uh, our most of our players you know shooting us out of the game but holy hell what a what a heartbreaker tragedy in cleveland at least for us jalen williams is back injury fully healed he's back as the six man i'll keep the uh yeah ian jackson you could sit that's the perfect person to sit right now because you were doing nothing last game but I i'm fine with this rotation and we're going back and forth right now oh man i have a feeling they're about to run away yep they're running away with it after such a promising season and winning 71 games we get swept in the finals by still a 60 win team i believe i saw donovan mitchell and the cleveland cavaliers donovan mitchell dropped 42 in the last game wins finals mvp averaged 30 in the playoff run which is higher by almost uh, over two points in his regular season run for us specifically shea ended up being the far away leading score for us in the playoffs while victor kind of paled in comparison after having a great regular season he still had a good playoffs a great playoffs but i mean not up to his standards i guess jalen williams didn't only play the one game the last game was kind of sucks I, I maybe it could have been easier if he was around i don't know this Jalen williams shot lower than 30 percent. i could tell you right now hey I, I let you have your chance with your fake brother buddy you are gone ian jackson shot pretty bad but he also only played three games and draymond green barely got an opportunity sorry draymond you had enough of those buddy and we and westbrook's gonna retire oh my god hey Jalen williams you are like cristiano cristiano felicio when he stole the rebound from Dwayne wade you have failed us why i'm sorry it's it's not just him can i see the final stats that, that's a really failed us victor shot only 41 percent isaiah joe holy hell 80 88 percent and then i benched you but then you got back in so actually i don't know did you even get i don't know desmond bain played great except for that one shot the thompson oh westbrook himself i mean you could have played better so you know what we'll just blame you for your own downfall sorry buddy yet again you sold in the playoffs and russell westbrook has retired i can't unretire him and that is the most disappointing thing yet see ya braun you almost got us but see ya chris paul went to the magic i'm very sad we gotta go and find another former thunder player it won't be reggie jackson he retired too and try and just get it in the name of oklahoma i guess who still doesn't have a ring unless i think they won with like some old team back in the day i don't know as the supersonics maybe went like really long time ago maybe yeah there it is they won with dennis johnson at final mvp in 1979 i think maybe like jack sigma was there or whatever pretty stacked hall of fame class and jersey retirements put westbrook's zero up in the rafters dog hopefully Shea can surpass him as the greatest player in franchise history i mean hell westbrook never let actually he did go to the finals once so i kind of take that back oh wow DeRozan went back to the raptors for the last season for a farewell tour why not it's kind of bittersweet though considering that you got traded and they instantly won the ring oh the top five picks are done via random weighted draw remaining lotto picks are determined by team record i know this might be like more of a downside to us i guess i don't know but screw it i'm gonna approve it i'm gonna let it rock so how does this work or oh, we'll we'll just change next season probably next season we have the clippers pick the brooklyn pick the miami pick and we get the fourth pick i think one of the picks went back i can't I, i'm trying to i think the nets one went back i don't know we got the fourth pick in the draft yet again just being gifted with these things this is why the thunder are always so good in these simulations and this year's draft 2025 you got a uh, nasir cunningham trey johnson but Sala Bagayoka. He could probably be a good player for us because we need a center if hopefully he falls to four. We need a backup center, that is, of course. There's really no sense of starter we even need at this point in time. Jalen Williams is a team option. I won't be declining it, but you will be getting shipped the second I accept that because that is way too good of a bargain to trade that for an 80 overall player. And there's nobody else I can do anything with. I'm still mad that Westbrook couldn't win a ring. Desmond Bain, man. You really you were good, but you sold in that in those last few games. And you played your role exactly how I wanted you to as well. I was just looking at trade because he's like the only player i can trade but there's nothing i'd want anyways oh well damian Lillard's a pretty good guy yeah what's crazy is keldon johnson in the second pick actually isn't a bad deal but i'm good i'm trading the uh 27th pick and uh, for a future sun's per first basically there's some seconds in there as well i'm trading uh one of our second round picks and another one for two wizards ones because screw that second round pick we don't need it anyways honestly i'm hoping for baga yoka to flow flow uh flow uh, uh drop to us what the hell am i saying bradley beal gets traded for the third pick and there you go nice nice i could get trey johnson i could get vj miller i don't know what 
they're capable of. They supposedly might be better than Mr. Basala, but I we need him the most right now on our team. Hopefully, it gets better in the future as well. I'm probably going to sign a center that's better than him for year number one. And then for our 11th pick, which I don't even know if I... Uh, uh, oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to keep this pick. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this pick. They got a lot of guys that are supposed to go way higher sitting here. The most notable one is definitely Isaiah Elohim. He has a Dwayne Wade Hall of Fame ceiling. Yep, don't even question it. Simulac 10, I traded every other pick, so I don't. We have, we're good. Basal is a 77. Trey Johnson is a 79. I could have drafted him, but... Or no, yeah, well, yeah, obviously I could have drafted him. He went seven. I drafted a little bit more on need, you know? We don't need 75 guards out there. I was already seeing it because I was like, oh, Jalen Williams is about to come back. But I'm like, oh, actually, we don't even need Jalen Williams, really. We need a center. And speaking of the other Jalen Williams, the center, we're going to get rid of him ASAP. I did not even know Josh Giddy was a free agent. They didn't even allow me to offer him extension, I don't think. I always look at it every single time. But uh, without a doubt, he will be getting offered right now. Don't even play around with that. I'll give him the front-loaded contract, see if that matters. Probably won't matter at all. And I was thinking about offering Kevon Looney last season. I'm offering him now. Real solid dude. Only getting him a minimum, so that shouldn't interfere with anything. And yeah, what's his name? Josh Giddy accepted. Similar to the end of that. Oh yeah, my, my last uh, dying wish from Westbrook. I think we have 14 players, so this works perfectly. Who's the best like former Thunder player I could sign? Dennis Schroeder, you were kind of here during the weird dark days. That doesn't really count, but there's probably not many players from the old days anyway. Actually, while we're at it, um, I just saw Isaiah Joe. I'm going to trade you this the first opportunity I have, but I will re-sign you if that's what's uh, necessary right now. I'll give you a two-year deal, make you think you're valued around here until I trade you in two seconds. I'll even throw a third-year team option and really make you think you're him. Just full business is business type of stuff, you know? Go to old players. Who's an old Thunder player? Not you, 40 overall generated bums. Paul George, I wish, but you're asking for too much money. That actually be perfect blake griffin is from oklahoma so that's kind of that that would be fitting you also do kind of deserve a contract at this you know stage in life oh this is perfect yep that's the perfect one victor oladipo i know you were only in okc for a second this man just ruptured his patella again like like just got another awful injury probably gonna miss another year plus if not be over for his career he doesn't like that i'm trying to give him a minimum with a team option but buddy you don't have much of a choice nobody else is gonna offer you and there they both go you know it's so crazy i think the two-way guys are catching on that i i don't treat them correctly because i just offered two two-way players and they both declined and signed with other teams it's about to happen again it happened again it happened again right in front of my face ismail ding or whatever your name is oh we have the maximum number what the hell happened then how, how did that happen oh i got two of them all right that's good shea is a 97 victor's a 92 you know what's crazy i was looking at shot tendencies and everything i didn't really change anything but i actually wish victor would shoot less because he was really shooting us out of games at a certain point it's very it's it's a crazy luxury that you would never think you'd have to ask for for victor with Manyama to shoot less oh yeah i hadn't i haven't traded Jalen williams yet that's the one dude i was like oh yeah i feel like i need a roster spot boom there it is the other Jalen williams will catch you later buddy i'm about to heavy invest in this uh swap best with the bucks bucks and uh, milwaukee uh, no bucks and pelicans get the best pick that that's a good one right there because the bucks tend to fall off a lot in these all right the last time trade to make soon is probably gonna be kevon Looney and isaiah joe for a better center just for this season until uh basala gets better but i gotta wait to do that because you know i just signed them and we already lost to the suns which sucks how's devin booker doing over there did he cook us is he, does he know about the trade he did pretty well doesn't being kind of paled in comparison in this game but he also doesn't have the opportunity of devin booker man got food poisoning okay yeah, chet holmgren's getting injured way too much even if it's minor in injuries i don't want to make it more of a habit dog we already know what you've been through in real life that man saw lebron eye to eye for the first time and died and we just lost again to i don't know if lebron i think lebron retired how do we make a trade slash signing slash waiver what did we do i didn't do anything i think it's because i brought I isaiah elohim back from the g league i don't know because i didn't see him here earlier yep yeah he, he was in the g league this whole season maybe that's why that other dude was pissed the other time because i i thought oh he's pissed why is he pissed send him down to the g league but he was actually already there the whole season and i didn't realize this dude justin edwards but he, he yeah he got back from it don't worry elohim you'll be all right it was for the better january 25th i'm awaiting that date end of the month we have a few fantastic players leading this team amen thompson who were basically just handed for no reason i didn't even want him i just wanted a free cap space to sign a player that eventually became desmond bain and isaiah joe yet again under under playing i don't even think kevon looney's bad but i'm like well might as well trade him and package him with isaiah joe if, if need be also but they got basala down the g league too jesus they are just sending him down there for runs i respect it though i do respect it Mio, they're not giving me good enough what to call results here let me, let me throw in a first round pick or something man oh was that draymond oh, no that was usman garuba sorry try to get your hopes up we had to have unlocked another thunder first round pick right yeah we do not need these we are better than that look at how many firsts we have holy hell i'm trying to get another one right now too 
I don't think they're going to give me it, honestly. Oh, you, you guys want a Thunder first? I forgot I have those. Here you go. Two seconds, Kevon Looney, Isaiah Joe for Mark Williams and the Charlotte first. Thank you. Thank you. Mark Williams, our better backup center now to uh, stand there and play defense or whatever. Well, that puts Justin Edwards in the rotation. I think we need to sign someone. Is there another? Uh, what's? Oh, yeah. I just I just traded two players. Obviously, I need to sign someone. Hey, Blake Griffin, man. I know you didn't play here, but you know what? What is that? Draymond Green still in free agency right there. Hey, you know what? You, you were our veteran last season, but you already have a lot of rings. Screw it. Blake Griffin, welcome to the team, buddy. Happily accepted an offer, and you can now sit on the bench and do absolutely nothing. Ooh. Technically, don't I have another roster spot, right? I, I'm, I'm about to give out rings. Come on now. Good vibes over here only. And I know Draymond, look, you already have rings, dog. John Wall. Oh, I have 15 players. I did not think I had 15 players. Victor, Josh Giddy, and I would assume Shea. Yeah, Shea, there he is. They're on the same team, made the all-star team. Eight is only a first-time all-star and also a starter in the same year. I'm surprised that it is. I am very surprised he hasn't made it yet. He is five years in. Once again, two time equals one time in 2K. And let me make them contract re-signings real quick. Come on. Oh, there you go. Shea, finally. Oh, wow. They got a locked contract in for him. Hey, give him a little less money then. Sure, that works for me, buddy. You deserve it. Anybody else? Oh, no. And I don't know why. Because it looks like I need to re-sign uh, Chet Holmgren. And also Jalen Williams. And Mark Williams. Ian Jackson. Back spasm. Shut the hell up and get back on the court. He listened. Jalen Williams. Stop getting injured. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to start to say it as, as things wind down here. Um, It's looking like like we firmly okay lost to the lakers that's tough but firmly forget all these records we don't care about any of these records who the hell is this round two pick 19 in 2023 and he wins rookie of the year now as a 79 overall in the buck i think i have a lot of bucks picks if i'm not mistaken i just traded for one actually amen thompson wins six man of the year with us he is the six man of the year he's also an 88 overall off the bench Giannis wins dpo high with the kings that more to the bucks flame stefan cassell wins most improved than mark dangal coach of the year 75 wins the the record the greatest team in nba history i don't know why it just feels real it feels like the, this could actually happen with the thunder hell mo half of this team is actually the team just with you know way better bench and victor and desmond victor makes the all nba second team despite only playing i want to say yeah just 31 minutes per game nothing too crazy this is most ever though 21 minutes i mean 21 points nine rebounds and four assists with two blocks also shot 50 percent better from the field than uh last year or am i saying 50 no no, no, no. Five percent better from the field. Sorry, I tweaked out because, you know, three digits. I'm like, that does not feel correct. And Victor makes the all-defensive second team. First seeded OKC Thunder. We're playing the Pelicans. Are they still playing Zion at center? Have they learned from their sins? Oh, they have Jalen Williams at center. And Zion, 1,000%, has to be injured. Zion is out for four to six weeks. The series is over. There's no way they win a game. Game over. Spurs, second round. They are also weak as hell. Isaiah Collier, Devin Vassell, and Keldon Johnson. They were the fourth seed. And the crazy thing is they do not have a serious injury they are just not they're not very good that you know though this is a, this is a deep team and i think i saw like a few like 70s in the starting lineup but i think it's because they don't have a great center but it's a, it's a deep team i respect it oh victor sore left good thing i'm hey look i'm not overplaying these players i'm still running the uh the full 11 man rotation right now which is a lot of players but they are all oh my god everybody except for desmond bain is on fire my god we have drafted straight heaters and if we ever need someone to play in garbage time victor Oladipo, hopefully you don't get injured there with all due respect i don't mean I, I signed you for a reason buddy i respect you but i really really used to love victor Oladipo when he was on the paces and cooking and by the way we are back in the finals and cleveland will they make it they do we are gonna get our re rematch maybe our get back against the cavaliers our best rotation against them was when we ran, ran that deep rotation didn't let victor get too ahead of himself and he's been incredibly efficient this season with all that considered can the greatest winning team of all time will they lose to the cavaliers again basically the most winning team of all time and well as of right now we are running away kind of yeah with game one finally our first win against the cavaliers in the finals and they had way better um top three guy performances if that's so to speak as josh hart this kind of hurts me to see him on the cavaliers josh giddy shot three for 15 by the way as well but we just had i guess a way deeper team performance a lot of players in double figures second game thankfully yet again as of right now nobody injured you know and we are gonna go up 117 98 to win another game in the finals it might actually be happening or a 2-0 blown lead might be happening but it doesn't look like it nope we're running away yet again the thunder win a ring westbrook this is for you buddy this is for you i am so sorry i don't know what the hell else i could have done it's, it's jalen williams's fault and yours actually take accountability you were not good hey man we're down by uh oh what, what happened there oh he got fouled by shay come on dog that's a bailout that's a bailout did he miss both free throws or something what the hell's going on oh my god he actually missed one trying to see if anything crazy happens here oh yep we have the opportunity to hit the game winner with with 15 seconds left in the game because in 2k when you're doing the what's it called the, the simcast they never actually do like you know 
fouls in the bonus and whatever. They just say we ball. So that's why I didn't jump in. Who cares? We're up 3-0 anyways. Desmond Bain, stop ice wing so much. Give the ball to a, a real. Where, where is Shea? The screen and the pass down to Eamon Thompson in the post against Darius. He's got a crazy height advantage and he greens a fadeaway. They've got two seconds left to try and hit a game winner. Will they? It's very possible. Donovan already gamed us once. The crowd got a little bit loud, but not crazy loud for too long because, well, uh, you know, we're in Cleveland. Probably not very happy to see this. There's also probably a lot of bandwagon Thunder fans by this point, but I see a couple in the crowd. I already know there ain't that many Thunder fans. Help people in Cleveland the pass is into Donovan Mitchell and he gets it oh he gets fouled on the three by Desmond Payne what that is such a rare occurrence and Donovan misses the first free throw hey if he misses a second free throw this is a generational sellout okay he hits one as long as he hits one the game is over one more free throw and he greens it Donovan Mitchell technically games us yet again and I'm not crying over it this time because we're up 3-1 now but that is insane Desmond Bain a fantastic game until you just sold us out out in the end also Shea didn't even foul out they just weren't playing him for some reason he had a fantastic game and maybe one of his greatest assist games oh no what will we do a, a blow a 3-0 lead to the cavaliers what what is this what is this fantasy land come on now but this ain't a storybook this ain't you know what i'm saying this is real life no leads are blown we're down by two points with 37 seconds left victor Shea, somebody save us i think Eamon thompson's playing the clutch minutes instead of Shea. and honestly i mean the guy's a 90 oh never mind there's Shea. they're both in that works Shea to the basket against darius he has a crazy height advantage pulls step back late oh my god buddy that is oh who just spawned on the screen darius garland 26 seconds left the screen on the right side by jared allen the typical nba pick and roll and he pulls up and misses the rebound by chet he takes a timeout with 18 seconds left you know chet is a real cool name a random thought good name solid parents you know you know a parent really didn't want to have the child they named like a really default name like adam or Steve. The only rationalization of that is if you're like a six, you know, like when they be having like Rocky, Rocky numerals in the, in the uh, what's it called? Swear to God, it's the only other place I personally know the numerals from Norman numerals when I see them on Jordan shoes and, and the Rocky series. I don't know if they got them like Star Wars or something. I never watched Star Wars. I'm not a nerd. I am a nerd though, but I don't be watching movies like that. You know, like lightsabers, not really that appealing to me. Oh, Shay, you want to hit the game winner real quick? Yeah, that's probably a good shot. Yeah, that works. Green light, game over. We're going home. We are home. That's it. That's the championship. Shay Gilders Alexander sends home these losers over the pat in the ground. Buddy, you were down 3-1. It was Jover in the first place. JB, don't even talk to Darius Garland. He doesn't want to hear from you right now. Don't he just patted Donovan, dog? The series is over. What a moment, man. Like they just said, what an unbelievable moment that they will never forget. Shea Gilgis, Mr. Alexander. I don't actually know who's going to win Finals MVP. I haven't really deducted who's the most viable player on this team. Victor's not even fitting in the frame right now. Hell, neither is Shea. Neither is really half the team. And this suitcase are for you. Buddy, there's never a suitcase. Why don't they edit that out of the commentary it's, it would be very easy to he takes a long pause in between saying it like you would just edit it and then just keep pushing they really don't care they do not care oh victor Wembanyama. you know what i'm saying um floating practically he is just holy there's a second victor there's a second victor he's what there was a second victor behind victor screw this no there is a second victor he's looking at the other victor as he holds yep all right all right, we got it. You, you're, you guys are good. And nobody even scored 20 points. My God, but there are so many double digit scores and they were all very efficient except for Ian Jackson, who somehow managed to shoot nine times in 19 minutes. I mean, that's a lot of minutes. Actually, I take it back. Donovan had 33, but a team effort with defense and, and basketball just overrides it. We might have nothing to worry about for a very long time, except for, I guess, injuries sometimes. Playoff stats. Shea was the leader in points, but Victor was the leader in rebounds and obviously blocked and also still averaged five assists per game. Desmond Bain doing exactly what we paid him for. Everybody looking very efficient. Josh Giddy. Oh, no, actually, Chet, least efficient, I guess, technically, even though he's seven foot one. But hey, it is what it is. You did your job even justin edwards who you know what i'm saying had some rough spots at time yep cooking nobody got injured the entire run at least so it seems because well everybody played all the game in the 11 man rotation but sala hopefully you you know what i'm saying advance your way up soon even though mark williams probably gonna be very very he's gonna work very well for a long time as well we are in beautiful hands and russell for you not only did i get a i didn't get a ring for you but i got a ring for two of you guys you know what i'm saying i don't know if you're even friends with blake griffin but you, you know victor oladipo blake griffin boom congratulations and these two losers in the g league although i don't think it even gives them the ring maybe if they played a game but they didn't 75 and 7 what's crazy is the blazers had 60 
61 wins too. And they got smoked in the first round. Holy hell. Brooke Lopez, Drew Holiday, and Clay Thompson retired. And Draymond. See ya. Tom Thibodeau went back to the Timberwolves. Wow. Pablo Brigioni retired. That Draymond and Clay jersey retirement. If they did it on the same day, that would go crazy. Thank God they did not vote to eliminate the shot clock. Eliminate the violation requiring the offense to avail advance the ball. Basically the eight second violation. That would be pretty lame to get rid of. But hey, I'm down for whatever league advancement these losers decide to make. Although most of them always seem like just not advancements, but the opposite. Also, they're adding that mid-season tournament into 2K soon. How will that work? I mean, uh, my bad, into real life. How will that work, work in 2K? So wait, we changed that one rule, right? So the five-team way to draw, is that still in effect? Holy hell, we have the number one odds from the Clippers. Yeah, I don't know how that thing works, but screw it. We're going to just try it anyways. Well, we got the third pick from phoenix and the clippers pick fell from one to six wait where, where did the phoenix pick come from nine to three and then one to six that is awful but that, that's fine though that works karen boozer would be insane to draft if we could ever run a lineup with like josh giddy at the two and then cameron boozer or chet or one of them at the three but we could also we're still in line to get either uh, uh, cooper is not the best but koa pete or cameron boozer would be insane and then i could also draft bryce james which is terrifying we've got four lottery picks i don't think we have room for four lottery players I guess technically we have room for two because Oladipo and Blake. After that, there's not one player I want to get rid of outside of those players. Literally every single one. Justin Edwards, I could probably rationalize, but he played the whole year and he helped us win. He wasn't very good in the regular season, but the playoffs pretty solid. Oh, and I'm tweaking. The, these are his regular season stats. What am I talking about? I thought these were... Never mind. All right. I'm going to try... Actually, you know, I'm just going to try and trade up for picks one and pick two. Actually, that's a, that'd be a good strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have no use having all these picks right now. This right here is pick three. I guess technically it would be smart to try and like do like six and 12 I i'd be fine to keep three one and three that works for me as well throw 24 in there too throw three second round picks nope didn't work where's the, where's the thunder first you know we don't want those those can sell like crack thunder first two other first boat about a bing there it is there it is we got the first pick in the draft just by swapping all the picks and can i move up from 15 and three to two i feel like that'd be pretty reasonable koa pete and uh and what's his name would solidify just everything and what's crazy is these trades aren't even crazy unrealistic like the trading up of picks let's try it oh they per oh my god they give me a first for two seconds hello hello but chicago what are, is gar packs back genius absolute genius moves right there sam presti i something glimmering from the sky right now your light is bestowing upon this team still in your absence maybe you're just like my assistant gm or like i don't know the owner gave you like 10 percent in the share or something for no reason or you just bought negative one i don't know point one you bought a dollar worth like you put ten dollars into the s&p 500 except this is thunder who knows the first pick in the draft and this is undebated undisputed i don't care about tyron stokes i will be going with cameron boozer number one carlos boozer's son and koa pete you got a real cool name i don't know you're not i don't know if you're anybody's son i don't know anybody named pete we probably will be three peating or six peating or ten peating with you on the team and next season by the way we have the first round picks of the bulls the suns the rockets the sixers and the bucks and the next season after that the bulls the suns and the next season after that the bulls the sun and the horn and then our own again and i don't i already don't have roster spots as is wow the fourth overall pick and say cool for emmanuel quickly and the fifth overall pick real groundbreaking i would say cool even in the league they did that draft i mean that actually might have been worth it for the knicks that tyron dude was ranked top two maybe he'll end up real good cole boozer and cole p i mean whatever cameron Bo yeah whatever. this feels like when i was doing the 50 year rebuild and i was trying to win every ring that was a crazy or the 100 year rebuild whatever you want to call it that video was a uh that was an experience victor oladipo i'm gonna let you sail off into the distance buddy we got you your ring don't worry you know what i'm saying it's been real you could retire happy now kind of even though you didn't play a minute you do still get a ring though right yeah good thank god all that for nothing would have pissed me off top of that i still have to re-sign chet and Jalen williams and mark williams i just realized we traded williams for another williams or i guess i don't know we got one in the end of the day that's seven million dollars to offer kd i think i think he'd probably pass at home trying to sign a three-year deal with the uh, warriors honestly yeah i, I don't want to i don't want to wait and see him be on a, you know what i'm saying give him a give him a flat 30 million dollar contract for five years see if he accepts that up oh, it's not him Dang, he still isn't he still wants to go to the warriors screw you i guess but he will be coming back Jalen williams nobody's offering you you've been good to us loyal i do you know he plays a real weird game in real life but i gotta respect it six foot five power forward pj tucker but without the three-point shot at least the, to the caliber of pj tucker trying to finesse you a little bit to give you uh i'd be handing out these front front contracts man oh thank you chet homegreen did accept our deal thank you i appreciate that and so the other two dudes we have 15 players on the roster you know what that means sorry to all the uh make a wish you know what i'm saying uh things we've been doing the past few years 
years. But instead, we'll just take Jovan Ruff and Alu Malu and move on because we, yeah, we don't need anybody else. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players that are 85 plus overall. A nine man rotation of 85 plus if we wanted to do so. A 10 man of 81 plus and a 12 man of 80 plus. I might honestly just run the 12 man rotation this season. Cameron Boozer and Cole Pete are our two worst players and they were the one and two pick. And the crazy thing is like, aside from maybe trading for Victor, who is one player at the end of the day, granted the finals MVP, I'm not, I'm not devaluing him, but you know, we'd still have eight players of this caliber. Aside from that, all these other guys were very, very fairly acquired just in the name of the Thunder being the Thunder. But I was able to take, you know, my own hands and, uh, and make it like, quite literally perfect just terrifying screw it i'm not risking nothing we go we go set a new precedent like fake load management we're running a 13 man rotation this season the second anybody even gets slightly and what's funny is we lost the first game of the season don't worry they're just getting you know warm look at that we beat the jazz 175 131 a week later shade dropped 33 in 26 minutes deer and fox is on the jazz for some reason i don't know and we haven't lost the game since the first game of the season i think we'll do just fine by the way though for the playoffs i am 1 million percent going back to an 11 man rotation though i do not trust a 13 man rotation in the playoffs but we still have all-stars even with this uh stipulation yep victor still made it shea still made it josh giddy still made it wow the same big three 50 and four record might not beat our record from last year maybe i don't I, maybe i don't know and holy hell nobody's even averaging 20 but they're all very very efficient We've had like three injuries total one being this jalen williams twisted right knee just absolutely ruining the league and they're also trying to bench desmond bain now wow i guess that's fair but who really cares i don't know that's crazy I, ian jackson I, I was just it felt like yesterday i, I was just questioning your uh you know what i'm saying um validity in the nba playing off the bench while we were trying to win a championship but uh here you are taking our star shooting guards starting spot maybe because you were the first overall pick a few years ago i guess yo jalen williams is low-key injury prone speaking of this uh trade deadline ao um contract extensions desmond bay i can't hate on game you know what i'm saying also that's crazy shea is 28 now wait that means that shea won his first ring at 27 years old if i wanted to make him bill russell that'd be a very hard task he would have to not retire and he have to win another 10 straight ring you know what yeah desmond bain three year 16 ish million dollar contract this works this works come back yep thank you jalen williams is barely even playing like everybody on the team and he keeps on getting very slight injuries which is very um weird oh wow amen thompson strained left achilles that's tough right as the playoffs are about to start and Jalen williams again what the hell sore left hand all right there you go yeah bet, better recover in a day oh wow our, our our actually i take that back not our only backup center we got basala now cooking but mark williams just got injured for a couple weeks so that's uh that's tough koa pete will be seeing the light of day finally for the first time he was very pissed off he's probably been seeing the g league honestly and what's funny is amen thompson just healed so i think he just got kicked out of the rotation immediately and i think we just beat eat yeah we I, I believe we beat our record from last year even though we were barely even trying cooper flag won rookie of the year stefan cassell went from most improved the six man i don't know if that's an upgrade or whatever ad won dpoy xavier booker most improved in portland Lamelo and brandon miller both in the hornets make the all nba first team um brandon miller in the hornets not nice pairing we didn't have all nba players last season either so who cares about all that garbage we are a team this is a team basketball we are the new version spurs but we don't draft over uh underrated all european players we just draft the best players in the world and call it a day would you rather have tony parker tim duncan and manu or kobe kd lebron tim duncan and dwight howard jesus Jalen Williams, what did i say about you already jesus my god we smoked the spurs even though i didn't even change the rotation back yet screw it i'm gonna just keep going as long as i can with this we have won two rounds with a 13 man rotation it's generational honestly i'm gonna take this king series slowly just in case it fails it's not though it's really not 4-0 and cleveland is back again for our third straight thing to go at this still the 13 man rotation by the way and I guess some dude fatigue is helping us because holy hell, we just smoked them 4-0. Shea wins finals MVP this time around. I, I, he deserves one. He deserves one. He's been here for a long time. We smoked them by double digits every single game. Every single one. The 13 rota man rotation is the new wave. That is the new wave. My God, you get 13 people that can play basketball. Hey, it might just work. Give them all a couple shots. We're playing like NCAA like levels of ball movement and just, I don't know. Um, Yeah, basketball. You, we're playing Europe basketball. I didn't even check the playoff stats, but who cares? That's a Harrison Barnes, man. Oh, wow. James Harden retired. What overall were you? Can I say? Why does it say Westbrook retired again? Buddy, I have been checking the oldest players in leagues for years now, like to see who I could sign. You definitely have been retired. Why does it say this again? 78 overall, James Harden. I probably could have signed. Whatever. I didn't have any roster spots. Sorry, buddy. We've moved up. We've advanced in the world. And Blake Griffin's out of here. Hey, you, you, with a ring, though. Oh, nah. Yeah, see, th this is stupid. Maximum length of regular contract is three years. Is that fair? Are they trying to end us? Should I just let them try and cook us and whatever and still cook them? Screw it. Throw all also the 
changing the uh, time to advance the ball to 10 seconds. That's fine. Only a two second difference. Job ja Morant's still having a field day no matter what. Let them try and cook us. Throw in all the rules possible to try and stop us. It won't work. We are back in the top three, top seven, and top nine again. With three different picks up there. And we are going to win the fourth pick, the sixth pick, and eighth pick. Not bad. We literally don't have a roster spot though. So I don't know what to do. I guess uh, Justin Edwards, you've kind of capped out at a 23. Mark Williams. There's not much to be mad at here or even criticize. But dude, I don't know. I'm trying some. Actually, uh, Justin Edwards, you are. I cannot trade you. Jalen Williams, you have had a very confusing couple of years. But I like you though. I don't want to trade you, you know? So what this means is that, man, wow, this is crazy. I might actually have to trade Jalen for the sake of the future of the team. Who's in this draft? AJ DeBonsta, Jamal McKnight. Because if I don't at least take advantage of two of these picks, right? That'd be pretty stupid. And we don't play stupid around here. Mark Williams for the first overall pick. What do they say about this? They want Desmond Bain. Jeez, they were offering a crazy pick in, in return as well, though. I actually forget that. Just offer Jalen Williams for the pick. Four star for four star. They don't want that, but they probably will soon with an addition of a, a 28th first round pick and our 2031 pick. Thankfully, we're, we're going to end up running out of picks soon. But actually, I, I take that back because I'm going to have to trade all these picks that I can't use that aren't top two for future picks. Whatever, man. Jalen Williams for the first overall pick. Still didn't work. I'll just throw in some seconds now and it, it should be over with. I finally got it done. Two first, uh, two seconds and Jalen Williams for the first overall pick. It's been real though, buddy. We, I, I enjoyed your, your tenure over here, your time, you know? I am going to need to move one of our players to power forward. I don't know if anybody's going to be as great of a 6'5 power forward as you were. And that, that's Draymond 6'6, six, six, so that doesn't count. Wait, isn't AJ DeBonsta a power forward? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. He'll take your spot in a few years. You were you were great, though. And lastly, Mark Williams. One way or the other, you're going to have to go. So then Mark Williams and dang, the eighth pick. Screw it. Just because I don't give away stuff for free, you could have two of our picks instead of the eighth pick. Hope they didn't want that either. Fine. And you could have the eighth pick. Look, I'm going to figure this out without getting fleeced because I'm not, I don't like getting fleeced. That ain't my style. Okay. Now, I might have slightly overpaid, right? I gave the Raptors the sixth pick, the eighth pick, and Mark Williams and two of our picks, but it was for their entire history, their entire future of pick. Everyone, basically everyone, almost everyone. So now we have pick one, pick two, and pick four, and I have absolutely no use for pick four, so I'm going to trade it for something stupid. Matter of fact, I might do even more leveling up. Oh, well, uh, I this happened unexpectedly, honestly, but I have traded Desmond Bain, who I thank you for your service, and I'm very, very sorry I had to send you to Detroit for Jaden Ivey. Honestly, I was about to trade Desmond Bain with the fourth pick in a package for a better player, but then I saw Jaden Ivey, and he's 25 years old, and Desmond Bain was pushing 30. So I was like, well, we need to preserve this team as much as possible. We need to win 11 rings, hopefully. Won't even probably be in the video title. I might say something like, hey, I'm trying to make Shay the next Bill Russell or something, but no more, no less. I feel like capitalism right now with how much I'm just cooking like other teams. My last thought is, well, the Clippers, they were the worst team in the league by far this year. They actually didn't have their own pick unless I took it already and I forgot. Would you be willing to give us like all of your picks or at least a, a large chunk of them for this fourth pick? Or you could throw in this heat pick as well. For the fourth overall pick in the draft, would you do this? They don't want that, but if I move this Miami one, they really do not rock with me. But you know what? I'll take my chances with two first. Dang, they still don't want it. I took an even less valuable two first. I don't even care. Ha enjoy the fourth pick. I can't use it anyways. We're rating champions. I'll go pick my top two players. First pick in the draft, AJ DeBond still without a doubt. And second pick, I mean, it looks like Jamal McKnight seems to be the dog. So we'll take him. Don't even need these bastards. Probably won't play for a long time. Well, they will because we're on a 13 man rotation. Somehow they're letting Victor go to free agency. I don't understand why I never got the opportunity to extend him as well as the Thompson twins and they will all be getting the bag. Victor, I will also give a descending big body contract because I'm a finesser, which is actually actually significantly less than what the Heat offered him and he doesn't care. He still wants to come back because he loves us and they all agree to the contract. I love the I love these guys. Here's the team for the next season. Victor is a 97. Ian Jackson's a 93. It's crazy that I did all that trading for Jaden Ivey, but he's not even cracking the top eight on the team or seven. It wasn't even that. It was actually one of the le lesser complicated trades. I did more complicated trades for first round picks than that. And shout out to Desmond Bain. I hope you thrive in Detroit if those two can coincide. The beautiful rotation. The Thompson twins are the six and seventh men in the rotation. Broken nose, amen. Buddy, can you get the mask? I want to, I actually wanted to see if you got the mask. No mask, lame. Very lame. You could sit out, buddy. We, we have enough players. You just don't, I don't know, break your face in half or something. I've experienced. Victor is still an all-star starter with no minutes. Shea is here as well. I think Josh Giddy's chilling at home this time around. Oh, wow. They benched Chet for half the season for Cameron Boozer. I did not expect that. Not at all. Not even in the slightest. I guess he is shooting better from the field, but he does not get nearly as many blocks or rebounds. So I don't know. Fun you boy, me, Bob. Where, where are me contract extensions? Trey Young wins MVP with the Blazers. Him and Dame can relate. And we won 
78 games a new 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 record no thunder on any team but we like it like that completely forget about us yes forget about the team with 78 wins 40 first round or one second round 40 third round and cleveland yet again one more time man we are about to get a decade's worth of revenge against them aren't we victor Wembanyama, another championship another finals mp his third third up uh, third championship that is and since i didn't check last year with the rotation that we run now here's a look at the playoff stats they are insane only two players who do not play consistently are the two rookies and speaking of that i am about to have to trade every pick this year aren't i because i do not have a, a player i mean i'll have to see honestly i'll have to look better goodbye kd curry jimmy butler bradley beal damian load and Kawhi. honestly every single player there is a um hall of famer except for bradley beal probably oh here goes another one probably if we're just being honest what the hell i keep going back to this and russell westbrook always appears see now okay it was a glitch last time because he was not there the first time i looked and i just came back and he's here and i'm looking at this now because i went back to look again and uh they did not let jimmy butler in or rudy gobert or bradley beal change the rising stars challenge who the hell cares about that garbage and we now have oh wow thankfully no top i mean i don't know about thankful actually never mind we're, we're the sixth pick and it falls to nine i guess really was is that the same pick yeah via phoenix wow so that means three teams underneath the six pick jumped up to the top four not about to evaluate it or anything i don't care you know what just when you thought i'd go in off so you're not making a move you look at the roster and well um we are way more lacking in big men even though they're still insane in comparison to forwards and guards specifically right now isaiah elohim you were drafted 11th overall you've been great so far for us you uh, we've won you i guess three rings right yep three time champion but you're 23 years old and i know that's not old at all but you're the 11th pick we don't really need you anymore you're not gonna get much better than this oh wait is he oh no is he what's it called he's on a team option god i could still probably finesse for the first pick because i did all that talking now i want the first pick oh wow that, that's a team with desmond bain ninth pick 24th pick future thunder pick yep no i lied i guess we're keeping yeah no i, I thought i'd be able to trade him but good trade Jaden ivy that's the only other person i possibly think of but he's an 89 overall that'd be that'd just be stupid we're only three rings in right three championships hey just keep pushing who cares oh whoa 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 where is uh where is my dog mark mark four offers dog give him the bag give him eight eight fifty eight fifty don't even think about leaving this team take the bag he won all these rings dog i'll be honest i don't even really know what he looks like i just know how his 2k guy looks like because it's been like that for two years and on top of that since i tra can't trade elohim oh i gotta trade the ninth pick for uh we'll go with pistons offering seventh pick and a top three protected i did a few trades just know i got a lot of picks don't worry nothing to worry about this year here's our pick layout for the next few just keeping the league hostage checkmate and there goes elohim and evan mobley had a severe right ankle sprain for the season did he even play Wait, did he even play in the finals against us that'd be pretty funny i mean not like you know in a funny way but like in a high uh yeah no he played he, they they still lost over here making me go out into the murky waters to re-sign my players and they both accepted anyways we have 790 overall players basala bagayoka is already an 89 elohim went up to an 88 i mean maybe it was worth keeping him actually i take that back he's about just as good as a first overall pick would be almost justin edwards is an 88 also helps that our team is so happy and good Good at basketball jay Ivey, you might be gone next season I'm not, which is crazy because 87 overall is not the chopping block but you and desmond bain are built normal we've got straight demi guys on this team another year and uh just in case uh as long as nobody jumps off the empire state building this year i have no words to say i'm just gonna let it go to the finals matter of fact i'm gonna just let the cpu adjust the rotation nothing's gonna happen dang shade me make an all-star team this season that's crazy that's a surprise that is definitely i don't i don't see him i don't think my eyes are deceiving me. 49 and 4 who cares our leading score is victor with 16 points per game cameron boozer is second with 15.6 and he has started the whole season we that man chet has lost his starting spot and basala is sitting right alongside him i guess i've been over here talking about we're lacking a backup big man we have two centers on the bench oh shay buddy resign yeah they tried to hold us down you know what i'm saying oh two years contracts yep don't care he's back anyway josh giddy testing for whoa 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 what how could you possibly be mad at what horrible how how is your thought process horrible right now how is that even possible all the money we give you joshua all the rings that is so sad i'm gonna have to trade him good thing i noticed that's the one thing i gotta check for i guess because wow i am i am deceived right now you have literally been the clear-cut starter for all these years what could you possibly outrage with what he was out for four to six weeks what is there to be outraged for hey but i, I the game 
game i don't play the game the game plays the game whatever i don't know you know what that means next man up aka next trade up josh giddy and Jaden ivy who i honestly do not want to trade right now i mean at least for this for just for lz hair we're literally it's just a lose lose trade but ron holland he is six foot nine a taller small forward he's also not a terrible facilitator he, he's all right but josh giddy is literally a generational facilitator at small forward it is annoying to lose him it is gonna mess up the scheme of our team kind of Tyrese Halliburton would be interesting I guess but I kind of wanted though you know I, I'll be honest you know I was about to say I, I wish that uh players weren't untouchable I wish that untouchables were off but you know there isn't anybody too crazy on the untouchables anyways there is but there isn't at the same time and the thing with Giddy is that I actually realize that I'm learning from my mistakes when I make the players contract descending they end up being undervalued so I can't trade them for players of similar value down the line so I actually need to stop doing that because it's actually screw me over in the end if this happens but I am gonna do that trade that one right there not not uh with, with justin edwards no ron holland and lz harrington it's a, it's a loss but not a generational one for jay Ivey and josh giddy josh giddy let me know what you think happened to josh giddy for this to happen to him because i don't know josh giddy though i hope you enjoy being a star or something because i don't i don't know what more you want from me and lz might hate us soon too but eh, you're an 81 overall buddy chill out holy <laughs> i did not ron holland the most valuable player we traded for the mvp and he definitely racked up those stats before he got to us i wish they showed you like the separated stats from when he got traded him before yeah they gave him all the credit i know some of the players on the team are probably pissed we, we only lost four games i don't know if this is a record or not i forget oh, wow and cameron boozer made the all nba team as well with 15 7 and 6 a game first round against portland easy 4-0 second round against phoenix easy 4-0 third round against houston easy 4-0 i didn't even check the conference mvp or whatever and playing the wizards i'm actually interested who's on your team jason tatum and literally nobody else perfect we've stolen everybody else from the league that is your thunder fourth straight championship shea who gets his uh finals mvp even though the other dude stole the regular season one and victor four-time champion so it was you know half of the other half the rest of the team almost we won over 20 games more than anybody else in the conference far and away dominating every single team and not one person that retired was on the team that's kind of crazy thankfully no rules happened i don't think i would allow the abolishing of the salary cap that's actually that's just dumb i mean i think i allowed it recently because the video was far gone and stupid but hey, we have the third odds the fifth odds and the 11th odds and we get the third fifth and 11th picks wow did nothing move the nuggets were the nuggets first projected nope they and them and the uh wait them the sixes and Pel pelicans must have all swapped around because uh yep they did interesting but yeah and now here's the thing though 2029 a king bakat eric dampier two fantastic players they always end up to be fantastic in these simulations elzai harrington though he uh he, he's a team option guy so i can't even trade him right now but i think i could very easily get the first pick with the third fifth and 11th pick and the 23rd and 26th and 29th i don't need to even talk through this stuff anymore you know what it is i'm trading pick three and pick 11 i i think this should work it did not work and pick 29 nope this still didn't work pick 26 instead no nope. 23 23 yeah no our pick screw it future okay and then throw in 29 as well there it is For the first overall pick in the draft i'll be drafting young king uh actually they're both compared to hall of fame which is kind of crazy they'll bo probably both be the future of the league matter of fact do i have another player i could trade get rid of i don't think so honestly we were talking like we aren't the future of the league screw it. we want to we run an operation around here this operation sometimes includes gory details that uh you know oh wait i can't trade the player i wanted to trade actually justin edwards is worse than isaiah elohim and he's older yep i'm trading all these picks to get the second overall pick just move up a couple spots give me those two quote-unquote hall of fame generational talents and justin edwards your your destiny will be met very soon i actually didn't fully think this through i don't know i'm gonna get rid of your contract we'll find a way i could take literally the entire future of nuggets picks come on give me them they always screw you over in these deals i hate you guys you might be trading this 90 overall near 90 overall man for nothing so instead i'm gonna wait it out a second just trust me on this one king and eric welcome to the team these two old, both had hall of fame ceilings so i expect a lot of them train lz for two pistons first and justin edwards has traded for three celtics picks i actually had better visions of what i was gonna do with them but screw it we definitely took a big hit from losing um josh giddy you know that was annoying but don't worry guys we'll get basala bagayoka back and mr isaiah elohim prepared to accept an offer from the nets buddy why why would you do this but yeah that's fine whatever and you know it's crazy through all these players but Salah's the only one. Oh wait nope one wrong thing I take that back victor is one of a kind and basala is one of a kind everybody else is kind of normal cameron boozer is 895 that's that's the payoff sometimes for giving up on players you know 85 overall guys for the first pick yeah uh cameron boozer is a guy oh victor not even waiting till free and see 
you said, buddy, re-sign me. Sure, you know what it is, Victor. Take a little bit of a pay cut, but not much. And Chet, you too, buddy. A SWAT Thompson, the same ordeal here. Hey, man, Thompson, you too, buddy. Hold this contract. Thankfully, we don't got no uh, pissed off divas this year, except for the youngins who can't leave anyways. And Shay's just injured a little bit, but it'll be all right. Wow. Cameron Boozer won MVP with our 13-man rotation. Yet again, just to emphasize, he is the first player to win MVP, I think, for us in the entire simulation, except for, you know, the, the Mickey Mouse last year won by old dude. 76 and 6 this season. Justin Edwards makes the first team comfortably after we traded him. I bet, uh, what's his name? Is, uh, dang. No, never mind. No Josh Giddy anywhere, anywhere to be found. There isn't even an all rookie team anymore because I don't know. First round against Minnesota, a win. Also, any injuries still or no? Is Shea's back and healthy? Yep, everybody's healthy. We have not lost a game yet playing Utah in the conference finals. And we are playing Justin Edwards and the Celtics in the finals. They actually have a pretty good team. Yeah, they're pretty solid. And, you know, it's no hard feelings. I, we know you're not going to win, but it's all it's all respect. You know, it's just love of the game. It's what happened, happened, you know. Sadly, I traded for a bunch of their picks and now they're really good. I underestimated how good he was. He was just a pawn on this team. See you, Kevon Looney. Happy retirement, buddy. Eliminate the goaltending rule with outstanding, outstanding approval. And you know what's crazy? Guess who's going to benefit from this the most? Maybe with a team with a seven foot four power forward. Also, I don't know when it happened that they changed Victor. Once again, I don't know when this draft class started changing Victor to a power forward, but I'll take it. Not as many picks in this year's draft. Can we jump from 12 to one? No, not necessarily. This is one of the last draft classes with actual people in it because I, I downloaded it. Is Harlan McNeil worth trading for? William Eagler? What's funny is as I always scan over the roster to like look at if we should start trading anybody. Yeah, Shea will never be traded. Shea will be here forever. He will not be traded. As long as he's playing basketball, he will be in an OKC jersey and, and unless he gets pissed off, which I highly doubt. Can we like expand the amount of roster spots? 20, please. Oh my God. I just made a three team trade, dog. I am in my Birkin. So I traded every first round pick that we had this season, which was all outside of the top 10, which was four of them, as well as our own 30, 30, 30, 34 first round pick to the 76ers. And I also gave them a Swar Thompson, right? They said, okay, we'll give you Tyrese Maxey. I said, no, 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 no. I don't want Tyrese Maxey. Trade him to the Pacers and I want their picks along with the first pick. The Sixers had the first pick. Now I have the first pick and some Pacers picks. I said nothing through this whole discussion because I knew it was going to be tedious, but I now have the Pacers pick who have just old man Giannis that'll retire soon. And I also have their, their picks. I, I I know. I just went over this. I knew this would work because they they sent me that uh that Tyrese and a Swar thing as a counter offer. So I'm like, well, I, I can't take Maxi. So, you know, I already know what I have to do here. With the first pick in the draft, I'll choose this dude named Harlem McNeil, who supposedly has Hall of Fame potential. He's 20 years old. I mean, I guess I could take the younger player, but he's at he's six eight, more switchable. I'll take him. And then uh yeah. The reason why I'm doing this too is because this is one of the last draft classes. I know I already explained this that that actually has players in it that I can, you know, whatever have trade for. Wait, wait, real quick. Look at Cameron Boozer's tattoos. They look so goofy. Oh my God. You were winning MVPs with those. Jesus. And he has 20 offers. Holy hell. I should have gave him a little bit more money, huh? Oh, he's prepared to accept an offer from the Bulls. Will not be happening, buddy. Will not be happening. We'll be back here time and time again. And so will these two-way players that I'll never play. You could see the mad ones in free agency. Look at how many 90 overalls. It's actually more than the screen itself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1290 overalls. We're going to have one uh, in, in our 13 man, you know, a uh, key rotation. We'll have 182 overall Eric Dampierre after all the trades we've had to make the past few years. All three of these guys are number one caliber picks. It's a masterclass in trading. That three team trade, I, I felt like a king right there. And this will be the last draft. I'm pretty sure. I, I think there's a, there's a 2031. There it is. I mean, how much further can you really get? We're in 2023. We're literally drafting nine year olds. Jesus Christ. This is even legal. And Ron Holland got better. That's good. I just feel like it's always a essential to uh, you know announce our retaining of the goats of this team shay buddy you are 32 years old so wait wait how possible it is is it right now i'm trying to make shay the goat the greatest player of all time maybe kind of i don't know they're gonna say he was on the the greatest team seven it would take seven more right wait yeah i guess technically seven more years would uh beat the bill russell record and he's currently 32 i mean either way i could just do it with victor that, that's almost a guarantee at this point hey, ian jackson buddy you ain't going nowhere either what's crazy is Ron oh my god wait hold up we're gonna talk about this a second ron holland is now a far better player than josh giddy right in terms of overall but not only that josh giddy's just mad again for no reason he's outraged in toronto we traded him to dallas he was mad at dallas went to toronto he's in his first year in toronto he's mad at them buddy 
Get your head on straight. I don't know what's going on. You got to hop off TikTok or something. I don't know. You're the best player on the team by far. Maybe because the theme sucks. Maybe. Hey, at least you're back with Mark Williams. You got Santi Aldama. What is there to complain about? Santi Aldama wouldn't even be the ball boy for our team. I was about to say I'll do this after the season, but I felt like doing it now. I have never checked the team stats for this team. I just want to see how dominant we are in terms of like certain stats, right? Offensive rating, we are 14 higher than everybody else. Defensive rating, we are almost 10 lower than anybody else, which is good. Rating differential, 35, which is insane. All of this stuff, honestly, I guess technically doesn't really matter. After, after looking at that, it really doesn't matter. Points per game, 14 more points allowed per game, eight four less than anybody else in the league. Hell, the Heat are playing great defense. They are fantastic, and they're still not even close to us. I mean, they are, but not really. Differential, too. The Heat aren't nearly as good as offense. Uh, oh, my God. Field goals made, we are number one. Field goals attempted, we are number one. Field goal percentage, we are number one. Three-pointers made, we're third, but we don't attempt. Oh, my God. We attempt 14th most, and we make the third most, and we're number one in percentage. Free throw percentage, we're number one. Offensive rebound percentage, we're far and away number one. Defensive rebound percentage, we're far and away number one. Assist per game, far and away number one. Steals, third. Blocks, second. Turnovers, even as many talented players we have dribbling the basketball, still middle of the pack. Fouls, proudly, eight. Points off of turnovers, 6.8, which is number one. Second chance points, nine. Points in the paint, six. This is along with being, you know, the, the third highest three point percent or the highest three point percentage shooting. Wait, what is bench points? Well, this is obvious 65 bench points per game. Highest bench points percentage. Lowest opponent field goals made per game. Lowest opponent field goal percentage. Lowest opponent field three point percentage. The most points. The uh, the, the least points allowed. It, it's just it's just pure down. I just felt like even though, you know, I try to move on from things, I just felt like it was necessary to look at all this stuff because this is insane. Same. Cooper flag wins most improved player. Nasir Cunningham, DPY. He kind of looks like Kawhi. The number two in the cornrows and everything. 77 and five coach of the year yet again. Jokic broke his toe. Cameron Boozer. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Cameron Boozer's out for the season. Torn right MCO. Wow. Torn out for the season. With that 13 man rotation, that man still found. He found a way in the last four games, or I guess the fifth to last game, to get injured for the rest of the season. That is so annoying. Our one all NBA player decided to call it quit during the most crucial time of the year. Well, now Kings in the rotation. Mr. Bakat, and hopefully it doesn't, you know, make us lose any more games we were supposed to. Quick, quick 16 0, real quick. Yep, still. Still 16 0 in the entire, uh, so far at least. He's still firmly injured, negative 13. And it still says for the season, even though we're in the finals, which is pretty close to the end of the season. But guess what? It does not matter. The guy's on an all NBA team, and it still does not matter. Shea wins his sixth championship and another finals MVP. AD's out of here. I could have sworn I just saw our, lo saw our logo as it uh, came down to the end here, but I, I guess not. Oh, yeah, never mind. We're six. We have boston and we end up with the dang the 10th pick it fell down that much from six but honestly i'm not even gonna go that crazy on picks anymore i am dj smith buddy you you might just have to go dominate elsewhere do we have any crazy old players i mean chet chet was the last one i was thinking about trading but honestly man chet's their number one overall pick and everything let's just keep chet around screw it Except for these two phoenix suns picks a warriors first i don't even know if these are good i i really don't care if six first is a failure then so be it and hey, give me this give me this indiana lottery protected i already know what happens if it protects for one year i'll just get it the next year but honestly i don't even plan on drafting another player aj debonsta oh, of course he wants to accept another deal come on now dang who was offering that much jesus yet again an insane amount of 90 overall going to hopefully what can be the seventh straight championship let me just make sure oh wow there there is a 2032 jesus christ guy just keeps going shot to philly and whatever your name is now they got ron holland on the bench it doesn't matter they're gonna keep rotating the rotation i got an automatic will we ever win 82 games i don't know me personally it's never been something that really enthused me i don't really care about the regular season i don't think i've ever made an 82 and 0 challenge thing i really could care less yep there it is because they lost to the maverick you know victor i'm not even gonna start lowering your contract anymore buddy just take the money same when you elohim you made it through buddy i almost got rid of you a crazy amount of time congrats cooper you over there winning the regular season awards buddy shout out to franthia james she's been in the front office the entire time winning executive of the year every single year yoka just keeps on getting injured man jesus i don't think i don't know i actually would have no clue if we have any injuries this year doesn't look like it king is sad that he's still not playing and hell harlem mcneil has passed him up in overall already my god maybe he's a disappointment who knows we lost the game to the grizzlies that's only our wait actually how many oh that's our fifth loss of the season they probably program it so that you lose more games in the playoffs or whatever and there goes cooper finally playing us in the finals can he take a game oh no ring number seven for cameron not 
for Cameron Boozer, but for Victor and Shea Gildas Alexander, seventh ring. Here's a look at the playoff stats a few years down the line, by the way. Yeah, 13 man rotation still cooking. Ted Holmgren now plays the second least minutes on the team, and he's he's still in 92. Giannis and Julius Reno on the same team. That was probably a treat to watch. Julius Reno got his number retired with the Knicks. I will be there no matter what. Oh, they're changing the bonus rules. Eliminate short term contracts. What? I don't know what that means, but screw it. Oh, it's just an overtime rule. I don't care about overtime. We don't go there anyway. Screw it. Let's see what how it works. Thunder, we get the fourth and fifth picks yet again. I actually might trade Mr. King. This man is still an 82 overall. He is now uh drafted in 2029. He is three years in and he's still an 82. Yeah, no, buddy. You are not you're not living up to the expectation. You're the number one overall pick, too. I'm pretty sure. That this is actually the easiest one I've ever done. And I don't even know who's in the draft yet. Harry Holt. Kobe Bryant. Oh, yep. And what's crazy is the Lakers have the number one overall pick, buddy. It's not happening. Oh, bet they got a lot of salary space too. Just take King. Always oh, he's, he's on a team. Come on. Well, you could have the fourth pick and you could have the 24th pick and you could have this pick and this one and the second and another second or forget the seconds. You could have a Suns first. There you go. Boom. There it is. Trade the fifth pick this year from the Celtics for uh, we'll go pick 10 and another Raptors protected pick. So I could then trade pick 10 for another pick through it. Sixers works. All right. Yeah, that's it. The dominance never ends. Terry Holt, undisputed first overall pick. Welcome to the team. King. King was just a, I, I had plans, no plans of making another trade, but I noticed that King was just not good. And this dude is far away the best player 80 overall 19 year old no clue who he is but i'm i'm surprised there's even a draft class dog oh yeah and king's still here so uh i gotta trade him just get that out the way now i know i i won't why wouldn't i huh actually nope i'll wait until the player progression and then i can really trade him for more this is like one of the first years ever we just don't have a free agent ian jackson i guess went down one overall i do not care thankfully shea has not even shown a hint at a regression yet and he is 34 even if he does what's the worst he's gonna get to a 90 i'll be honest i have not been getting very good offers from mr uh king it'd be a lot easier if i could trade players and then trade them again but i i turn that rule i keep it on for this so yeah that's that's that honestly though just for the sake of uh him being able to say he was on this team are the spurs good at all not really they're mid i will trade king's spurs for Jalen williams back just for 10 seconds before i have to release him i'm being so serious because not one team has the money where i i can just you know what i'm saying just let him off the hook easier so yep there it is oh well they're gonna accept it eventually there you go Jalen williams for literally one first and i'm going to have to release unless it lets me trade him again I, i'll make sure before i do it oh it does oh my god perfect perfect literally perfect i'll get too greedy though just give me keegan murray i don't know what makes this uh i don't know be exempt exempt of the rule but i'll take it robert williams old self and the lakers first that that works perfect then i could even release you if i need to or i could take a uh bro, we'll go with a grizzlies first i don't know and the roster wow I, that i could have saved a lot of issues if i knew that was a thing the entire video it's kind of crazy no mark is gone where is mark where is mark dango no no, maybe I'm going to, in my mind, he retired because no, wait, hold on and get him off the Rockets. I'm about to go to the Rockets. Just, who cares about the Rockets? I'm going to them just to fire him. Screw them. Buddy, you need to be the most accomplished coach in history. And that will not happen in Houston. Mark, welcome back to the team, man. Don't do that ever again. Houston, we'll give you a, you could ask to have this guy. He's good. Don't worry. We can't let the other teams know our system. They could clearly see by just looking at our minutes distribution of playing way too many players, way too many minutes. It's funny because that follows him wherever he goes. Like he still has it on him. 13 minutes per uh, 13 bench depth. I'm about to say, yeah, we should have a uh, five stars on almost every single one, but we actually mostly just have it on balance and a uh, seven second. Kind of crazy, honestly. I just be handing out contracts, man. You get a contract, you get a contract, you get a contract, man. And make sure nobody's pissed off this year. Everybody loves this team. No, Josh Giddy is a absolute abomination to the he, he, <laughs> man. I'm sorry. It's just it's just the truth. Maybe this is foreshadowing. Cooper MVP, Nasir, aka Kawhi, and we went we lost four games, an astounding four. Can we lose four games in a series so far? No. I feel like I donated a player to the Pistons and not Desmond Bain because he's probably long gone. Uh, no, I don't think so. Eight rings for Victor and Shea and company. Top three picks that they're changing it back, I guess. I don't know. We got the second pick, but we're at the point where uh, none of these guys. Oh my God. Wait, Hall of Fame B plus overall center. <laughs> Move up one pick, man. I don't know. What could we even trade at this point? Nothing. I don't even know. Uh, it might be time for Chet to go if that's the case. I, I, I don't even care. Who cares? Who cares? We've had a great run, Chet. We, you've won eight rings, Doug. I've seen it over my morals are never, never lost, especially when I'm one pick off of the pick. And so take me three first to move up my god and then chet um well you know what no i'll move amen thompson screw him sorry i didn't mean that i already moved up i moved his brother years ago where'd i move his brother i don't know oh this is fantastic him for the fourth overall pick and some scrub yep and then we could just deal the fourth pick to losers crazily enough the Cavs went 10 and 72 this year they are now one of the worst teams in the league evan mobley's alone with an old donovan mitchell and darius garland's gone and jared allen's gone they're 
funnily enough still have three of the same starters they're just so old and lost a couple with that being said can i have your pick oh well they're, they're the team that i already traded with but yeah yeah i don't care give me more pick there it is i had to trade a spurs pick i don't really care first pick this b plus overall bastard i don't even know what i there paul george jr he's pretty hey, wow he, he'll probably be pretty good too but holy hell this guy's already an 85 eric dampier jr welcome back to the squadron shea has finally regressed to a 96 it's it was bound to happen okay, and there goes this dude that i have to release or i'll just trade him in a couple minutes dang the guy's shake coming off the bench now hey let him let him rock let him rest i don't know cameron boozer won another mvp despite the minutes and his brother caden boozer won six minute of the year that is poetic three games lost that might be the least ever i don't know nobody knows i've lost track we are gonna smoke everybody en route to a uh thunder versus sixers finals and 16-0 yet again ron holland wins the finals mvp nine rings just two more to tie bill russell but crazy is like in a run like this jamal mcknight was our leading scorer right and he'd never dropped 30 once he got close but i mean 30 isn't even like a hard thing to do for most of these guys but we're, we're a team out here don't worry the book retired i'd assume with no rings since we won everyone not have installed one though we could have we could have had 10 already faster but bill russell won 11 in 13 years so you know there's that oh wow they're, they're bringing back the eight second violation they're changing it back and we got the sixth pick from the lakers and the 11th pick from indiana any gods demigods this draft class uh a b is good but even he's not undisputed to be the best and he's 23 i'm good i'm actually good i'm gonna just trade away all my picks and call it a day and koa pete's even in 95 now my god i felt like you were kind of underwhelming for a little while i'm impressed you would be proud and they want me to get rid of terry Holt. why this meant i mean i know he hasn't been wait oh wow these are all of his best games in the g league holy hell why would i get rid of old dude i don't care how much his salary is this man was said to be the next kobe i'm gonna see it through to be fair i drafted a dude that was better than him like immediately let me see if they were right shea went down by one by the way and uh i mean Holt went on by four he, he's on pace he's doing well chill out on him that's crazy though. they suggest that i just get rid of him cameron boos are another mvp five losses this year mid first round win second round win third round win and another ring koa pete finals mvp hey at the very least we win next year you know because it's always in question no matter what and shea will be an 11 time championship champion my bad my you know it's 8 a.m i've been recording this for like six hours don't mind me he's got 10 of them so far 10 straight i think right and it's been a joy to uh fight alongside him yet again we got the second pick joe dunn is basically just Allen iverson jr according to this thing but he can enjoy that man we only got two years left to win you know what though just for the hell of it i could so easily trade for the first pick i'm just gonna do it with no plan and bound give me Allen Iverson Jr. man he's a 76 so yeah that was a mistake they is a 92 this very well could be the last year not that that's bad or anything but I don't know I'm just feeling the vibe Chet Holmgren's an 89 you got to stick around for at least the 11th ring so I really need to prove that I can win 12 I mean if he retires that's all right and it's funny I did all that for that first pick and I'm about to trade him for absolutely nothing I do not care about this dude Trey is the 10th man and Chet Holmgren is in the reserve okay I'm not gonna lie uh wait hold on I'm not saying nothing I'm not saying a word we did it um I, I i said i didn't care but i'm not gonna lie to go 82 and 0 in the last season is pretty wild i mean i'm not gonna lie. i did also did not plan for this to be the last season as i'm gonna take a screenshot with you too for anthea james you deserve you know what i'm saying the respect as well been around for 25 years mark dangle screw it let's just make actually you know what it'd be even more poetic i don't think he's gonna say it honestly no way shay says he's retiring right nope he's not thinking about it 82 and 0 oh we lost the playoff game we lost the game to the grizzlies that is hilarious and miami in the finals 4-0 sweep cameron boozer finals mvp you make your way over to shea gildas alexander's player card 11 rings you know what just because we lost the playoff game i'll see if we go we go here no loss and keegan murray retired with a torn acl that's gotta be one hell of a rehab they're changing seating and maximum contract is back to four years traded line a week earlier all right i don't really care good thing i checked this i almost didn't wait no way mark retired hell no yo you could have oh i don't have any more money boom he's back again do i even have picks i don't know i don't care hey chet holmgren not getting traded that man is getting that 12th ring jd byers is sad oh who cares holy hell look at how many picks we have i'm just doing this out of like ritual at this point like i don't even need to do this this is easily the last year there's no way in hell i go further funny thing is i didn't even check the draft oh jamie jordan all nba don't care harry holt wants to leave so bad 
won't be happening. You've signed up for the mob when you get drafted to the Thunder. It's a never ending thing, buddy. Shea is probably not going to be in the rotation at all this season. It's actually clearly not going to be in the rotation. And that's the perfect way to win your 12th ring or whatever. Wait, was it 12? Definitely 11. Yeah, I realized it while I was saying it. Very poetically, Shea Gildas Alexander and Chet Holmgren are sitting in the reserve for their last one. Not going to lie, Shea just asked for a contract extension, so I don't know if he's going to retire. Oh, lie. Uh, we did not do the 82 and 0 thing again. 73 wins is as good as you're getting. I don't think 82 and 0 comes every so often, but you better watch a 12th ring, buddy. 4 and 0, Ron Holland, finals MVP, and the Bill Russell record has officially been broken by a uh, Mr. Not Playing in the Game. I mean, multiple guys in this team, actually. Well, it's really just three of them. Oh, oh, actually, hold on. 12 NBA championships, nine all star appearances, one second team all NBA, one first team all defense, and one second team all rookie. For Mr. Retired, he said it bluntly, too. This is my last season. My probably no noticed it after he did not play a game in the 13-man rotation that I'd been living within for the past years of, I don't know, amount of years. Shea has retired. That is it. That is, you, you would think it was a career simulation with how much focus I was put on him, but to be fair, you also couldn't win this many rings without it. Yeah. Is it 30, 30, 20, 37 right now? Yeah. So he, he played in some games, you know, he averaged six points, but he only played, uh, a, he, oh, wow. He played 41 games. I mean, that means that there was 41 games of people being injured and he started in 11 in his last season. All right. Sure. I guess. I don't know what happened, but something did. Well, how do you end this? Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're this far in. Oh, man, look at that. Take a screenshot. I'm taking a screenshot. Me personally. Let me see coach of the year, too. Show me coach of the year. Show me coach. There he is. Mark Dangle. If that's how you say it, I don't even know. Every single year, basically. And lastly, I just wanted to see NBA records. Did he even know? He did not even get close to uh with, with the rotation we played. And man, I don't even know where he is. I might have seen Victor. Did I see Victor? Did I not? I guess I didn't. Crazy is they gave up mid. Oh, there he is. 23,000 points. They basically picked up mid stats over long careers for mad ring. I'm not even gonna look any further into that stuff. Westbrook and Durant still have all the records and just go to his hall of fame, dog. He averaged 17 points, seven assists, four rebounds, one steal, nine all-star appearances, 12 championships, which is more, 12 more than either one of these other two hall of fame nominee guys. Three finals MVPs, one second. Yeah, we already went over that stuff. Jersey retirements would be one of the most elite Jersey retirements ever. 2019 to 2037 Shea, and they're not putting any garbage rules in all right shout out to chad homer and shout out to victor doing hell of a video i set out to do what i did and it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun hopefully we can gain 11 subscribers in this video for bill russell's rings and i don't know i have any more i don't have any more coherent thoughts it's 8 21 a.m goodbye Bye.